about that shit being a lawsuit for real. Back for our last show of the season till Summer League. We appreciate all y'all pulling up. This is Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. As always, we got Gilbert Arenas in the building. What up? We got Brandon Jennings and his dog Freedom. Mr. Jennings. Got my <laughs> PhD. <All right. laughs> and we got, we got Rashad McCann. <laughs> another job interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got another job interview. Just in case I don't get you know, Just in case. Just in case you don't bring me back. You trying know. to leave a good impression. You're trying to, yeah. you're trying to one up me right now. <laughs> you ain't tell me to wear the motherfucking collar today. I knew we had champagne, you know, <laughs> some balloons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to act right on the worst face. When you walked in, we was all like, wait, who the fuck is that? <laughs> I thought it was uh, compliance. Yeah, like, I like compliance yeah, is here. HR here. HR. HR. We're the, HR. We're the, the fans is in here. <laughs> So here's what's cooking today. Uh, was the Timberwolves playing championship last season more impressive than the Nuggets championship this season? We will discuss. Who's the biggest threat to stop the Nuggets from re repeating next year? And it's time to find out who are the top five point guards in NBA history. We were going to do top ten, but y'all know we like to talk. Y'all get to cooking. We're trying to keep the show under two and a half hours for budgetary concerns. So we had to whittle it down to the top five. As always, the show is presented to you by Underdog Fantasy. If you have not done so already, go ahead, download the app. Use promo code Gills Arena. They will match your first deposit up to $100. You can get into WNBA. You can get into some baseball. They got the NFL futures out there. I seen all that stuff cooking. Underdog gonna get the bag. They, they understand. They're gonna give you what you want. So get them pickums going. And as always, fans, we see y'all pulling up in the chat. Make sure you drop a good question in for this last show till Summer League. You'd be featured in our Mostly Fan segment. If you haven't done so already, like and subscribe to the page. We see them numbers running up, Gil. You know it's time for some bag renegotiations coming soon. Yes, 53 sir. million. Yeah, we got 53 million views. Didn't even mention that we went over the 50 million view hump. Oh, we did? Four months. We get a little smoke for that. Oh, I don't. In four months? You know me, I don't be paying right. attention to numbers like that. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Nah. Who do you think four you are, Chelsea crazy. Clinton? Like, Chelsea Clinton. <laughs> And as always, if you don't watch the show on YouTube, I don't know why you don't do it, but go ahead. You can download the podcast on Spotify or wherever you get your podcast from. Plug in with us. Help us get those numbers up, too. We can extend the back, keep bringing you the show that you know and love. So before we get into the meat of the show, Gil, you know, uh, earlier this week you were rocking the Pistons jersey. Mm-hmm. Facts. City of Detroit, you know. New favorite team. You know. <laughs> you were inspired by Detroit to change your views on the city. So we got to show some love to the D. What up, Doe? What up, though? What up, though? They say you got to do a what up, though, every Cold episode. Cold out there in the D. Y'all remember that song? Uh -huh. Cold. 313. Three. Yeah. Oh, free world. 313. Three. Oh, free world. So, Detroit and Pistons fans are split 50 50 whether or not to forgive you for your misguided slander. 50 /50? Oh, that's 50 50. No. What you thought it was? 70 30? 95 5. 95 5. 95. <laughs> but a, a Twitter user by the name of Trademark Taz uh, made the following offer. If you want to come to the city, you got to check in with Big Grass Shot. 
So for the uninformed, here is Big Grass Shot. He don't know who I am, but they gonna be like, who is he? Nigga, my name is Big Grass Shot. I'm the only nigga in the city <laughs> look like this. Ooh, no beard over here. But it's a beard. Oh, beard. shit, I oh. didn't even see that. Man, stop oh. playing with me. You better stop. Living legend. Big, big living grass. legend, girl. All right, big grass. Got to check in with grass, Perfect. nigga. Oh, huh? the half beard, half. The beard. Half beard. No beard half. here, beard here. That's a first. So, so girl, are you prepared to check in with Big Grass Shot when you go to the D? Yeah. I, I mean, listen, he, he do look serious. I mean, but he don't got no buffs. So I don't know if, is he from, like, what part of Detroit is he from? Because, you six, know. Six mile? Because, you know, he needs buffs. He needs his buffs on for me to take him serious, <laughs> serious, you know? <laughs> they said you, know. you got to rock the buffs, too, okay. on the show. Oh, no, they go, oh. They get you on, on the list. show, not in there, because I know if I take them there, they're going to take those. Yeah, for sure, they're going to take those. They're going to take the buffs. Sure, you won't have them. <laughs> So this brings me to a bigger question. I want to ask all three of y'all. Did you ever have to check in in the city during your career? We've heard stories about people having to come through Houston, yeah. check in with certain esteemed individuals out there. I won't say their name because I don't want to get pulled up on if I ever happen to be in the Texas area. Yeah, when I was in Chicago, I had to check into the peninsula. Yeah. <laughs> check in. You got to check in on time. Bill, tell them niggas we got to check in on time. Check in had the Four Seasons a yeah. few times. Beverly Wilshire when I came to L.A. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. What you talking about? Check in, in, in. Hotel. What? I'm not a gangbanger. To go where? Where we going? <laughs> Straight to the room. Straight to the fucking room. On, and when we go out, we don't, like, we don't shit on, like, like we, we kind of have our own little thing and we out. Like, yeah. we don't be hanging around. Like, we don't be trying to shit on people when we, like, out of town. It be John and them be fucking up the whole... But we saw uh, Stag like he, he went to O Block when he was in Chicago. He had to, you know, he went to the hood. Who? Those are ties, though. I'm you, you, I mean, the street ties is different than just regular basketball players. Yeah, because we don't really need the street ties to move around. You know what I'm saying? Y'all good? Like, if, if you cross some steps, you cross some lines, and just a city here, and you cross that line, you on your own, my nigga. Like, yeah. Listen, listen <laughs> my GPS don't even go. Yeah, to, I'm about to, to say, LA. yeah, we not yeah. even going there. I'm <laughs> going I was, I'm bougie. Yeah, my over there. Okay. My yeah. GPS, listen. <laughs> To get me downtown, boy, it needs to be something cracking. Yeah. Money wise. Other than that, I don't leave the one on, I don't leave past uh, City Walk. Well, hey, look, the game bankers got to get sophisticated <laughs> and start dressing up a little bit better to get into these nice spots. I don't, know, I don't go to Hollywood. <laughs> like, shit, it, w would you invite me? Thousand Oaks. Thousand Oaks? That, I can do that Thousand Oaks. <laughs> that way, yeah. That I can go that way. way. Yeah, that way, yeah. That way, my <laughs> GPS don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Thousand Oaks. <laughs> it's just a danger, Lovely danger, state. danger. Oh shit! Let me turn around. I don't even like going to damn LAX, bro. Burbank. I'm about to say, Burbank. Yeah, yeah, LAX is a push. <laughs> Somebody pick you up from LAX or or drop you off. They love you. Yeah. Yeah. They love you. Yeah. That's what, Burbank for the uninformed. If you ever come through LA, you can get the flight to Burbank. Much more relaxed. Security's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Five minutes through security, you yeah. good. Five minutes they, through they security. They definitely not gonna lose your bag. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not gonna hey, lose. Hey, that's mine, player. Right there. <laughs> you right you there. can watch yeah, the shit mine. the whole way into the play. <laughs> so were you ever nervous to go out in the city? Like when during your career? No, not I mean, not really, because I mean, what are they gonna steal my credit card? They're gonna jack me from a credit card? <laughs> like I'm not gonna have like, you know, I'm not uh, gonna have jewelry and chains on and all that walking through the club, so it's like, what are you gonna take? Oh my, here my credit card. Even if I do have a chain, I'm gonna have it insured for more than what I bought it for. Yeah. So if I have a fifty thousand dollar chain on, and I have it insured for two hundred, I hope you steal it. I'm, <laughs> give me that chain. You ain't even, I ain't even gotta do all that. You ain't gotta do all that. Just ho yeah. hold on. Just anybody watching? Y'all watching this, right? He wants my chain. Just so I have witnesses. You know, I'm just call the police. So look, I'm gonna give you about thirty minutes. Uh, you go, go on, go on. I'll make the call in a second. Man, I want that 200. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I, I want the 200 from insurance. There was two cities they told motherfuckers not to fuck around in. Philly, Chicago. What is they hit Chicago? Chicago, they said, don't, 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 don't. See, I don't, had don't, a ball don't, in Chicago. Don't. I went with the right, I went with Will Bynum. Will Bynum, Chicago. yeah, you go with Will Bynum. Will Bynum had 30, 30 <laughs> guys, and I was saying he had 30 niggas, with, and mm. it was cracking. Mm -mm. It was crap. He said, you good. Philly. Us, like, it was, uh, nope. like, earlier it was, like, uh, Houston. Houston? Mm. Yeah, it was Houston. It, 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 it wasn't Detroit with Trick Trick? Nah, it was, it was, but nobody really went out in Detroit like that yeah, for them. Oh, but but okay, Houston, sure. because it was a big uh, strip club city, they were like, do not leave with any of the women. And if you do, like, tell, like, the, the downstairs of security, 
Do not put your, they was like, put your jewelry inside your lockbox, because if you fall asleep, they're going to steal it, they're going to rob That you. was Memphis, right? Yeah, they were really. They were, <laughs> that was, was Memphis. Was, because I guess, because, you know, the flood, Katrina, all in New Orleans, oh, people yeah, was there, yeah, so it yeah, became yeah, more yeah. Got you, got hostile environment. Oh, yeah, so that's, really, yeah, during that time, for sure. 100%. For sure. Yeah. And Brandon, the chat wants to know if you're hosting a Bible study after the show today. I do believe in God. I, I can. Who I can. A, I, I mean, who need a blessing? We can the murder. The murder. Say, if you do need a blessing. blessing. Yeah. <laughs> so let's keep this thing Choking moving. Anointed. We got to talk about uh, Carl Anthony Towns. Now, Cap okay. made an appearance on Pat Bev's podcast recently. Has some interesting things to say about his career and also the Timberwolves. I don't care how you say it. Like, it was the reason the Denver Nuggets won a championship. I didn't play them in the playoffs, bro. They was, they was telling us our plays. They were like, all right, yo. They just, they weren't even talking. Right. right to an area and the person was just randomly right there. I'm like, how is this possible? But they also what? What's one of the things that like you see it was more special what we did in Minnesota because we had we had like what like a month and then we had right. training camp and it was like you better figure it all out right now yeah. and we really figured it out quick. Yeah. Think about it. They had what? Yogi's Three, been the lead. Four years. If you think about it, you four years we got it done in four months. <laughs> right. Got what done? Okay, got so Got to ask y'all, what, what was more impressive, the Timberwolves playing championship or the Nuggets actual championship? Okay, see, this is what, I blame Adam Silver for this. See, you put that, 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 that play-in game in we and you about got it. silly motherfuckers thinking they won a champion. That ain't no damn championship, bro. That's eighth spot. Yeah. Right? So you got, that's delusion right there. They think that's a real, like you get an award for becoming an eighth. Seven, See how he was. They were seven. Up. It don't matter. Seven, Jeremy, eight. I mean, seven, eight. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like you, you're, you're putting in these. <laughs> raise the banner. See how he was standing on it, though. You see how he was standing. No, that's what he really believes that that like was a uh, an a, a award or something. Like he should be getting credit for coming in seventh. So that's supposed to be better than the Denver Nuggets winning the championship. He's saying what we did was more special than we what had a they month. did. This was last season when Pat Bev was on the team. They was jumping on tables. Yeah, when they beat the Clippers, right? But yeah, they, they celebrate it like they won it, but they celebrate it like they actually won the championship. That's what I'm saying. It was a big moment for Minnesota. And this is going to happen during regular season championships. What kind of big Wait, moment what? are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. nigga? What? Playing a championship. Huh? Uh, <laughs> 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 no, nah, we had no, bigger no, right, moments. Yeah. Yeah. The WNBA had bigger moments yeah. than that. That's what I said. As soon as they start doing EC, uh, end season championships, people are going to be really thinking this shit's important. Want to pop champagne and shit. Yeah. It's like we got 40 more games left. 40 more games. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. We got 40. Didn't he say some more shit after that? Like his Yeah. Does it matter? Yeah. Did he say Does it matter? Shit? He already started. He said some no, 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 wild no. shit. No, he said, no. He said, when I'm done, people are going to say I changed I the changed game. I changed the game. Change what part of He changed the let's, game of basketball. Let, yeah. let's, let's, see, let's see the clip on Cass saying that. I mean, I just feel like, I'm going to put it like this. I feel like when my time's up, and, my, and I retire, and I put the shoes up, and I say, you know what, Pat? I'm, a, I'm a, me, the kids, and the wife. We're going to head out to the sunset and enjoy life. I feel like there's going to be people who are going to say, you know, that I changed the game. And I'm going to be very appreciative of that. That's oh, good. Everything's up for stipulation. And you know what I like to say? Is that no matter when, think when this is all over, that there's going to be kids coming up saying that they're going to be able to play a different way because I played in NBA and did it a different way. His kid, oh. I get it. He said his, his, his kids and his family. So <laughs> his kids and family. Before I let y'all comment, Draymond Green uh, responded to the video with the following tweet. He said, hey, Pat Bev, when people come on your show, they change the game. I'm looking forward to it, man. Mm. So do you agree with, with Kat saying that he changed the game? No, he, did he, no, he didn't say he changed the game. He said people are going to say he changed the game. People like within like the family members, his close supporters. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, change the channel. I, 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 I to be honest, <laughs> to, to be honest, I really don't even know much about him. Really? Yeah, me. Yeah. I really don't know. You, you, I, if you tell me he has twelve all stars, I can't even fight you on it because I wouldn't know because I don't pay attention to him. And that's just to be honest. Is it Minnesota or just him? Three-time All-Star selection. Go. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't done anything to stand out for. Like, what position is he? Center. Four or five. Center. Four or five. Oh, actually, now four. You like, play four with next to Goober. You, you, is, 
stretched out your shoot. You won the three point challenge. Change the game. I mean, there's there's no dirt. There's, no. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. He's stretching. I mean, what does he do? He's stretching it. He's, he's stretching letting it be known. K Love, let like, let he, be but known. he's coming after K Love. So it's let like, letting it be known. is he better than K Love mm. over there? Uh, wait, 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 when K Love was K Love was averaging twenty and twenty. That's what I'm saying. Is he better he than K Love? How many All Stars right. did K Love have? Before he went to Cleveland, yeah, be, be, is three, it maybe, 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 Let's find three, out. maybe two or three. That's the internet. But but K Love was having, I think, yeah, like a 30-20 game, 30, like 30-30 game. game, yeah. So Kevin Love, uh, three times, five times. So five time also, but three three in Minnesota, two time All NBA, and shot just as many so he threes can't, as you did. So he can't say he's better than K Love. Wait a minute, hold on, change again. He's not even the best. Power Fort Timberwolves. Timberwolves, period. KG. KG. Kevin Love, then him? See, this is why. Illustrious list, Gil. Uh, I hope I wasn't this delusional when I played. I'm pretty sure I was, too. But, you know, I think it's just when we're playing in the moment, we just think we're better than what we are. I, yeah. I got to be guilty I of that, too. in Minnesota, so I can know, why, you can tell I know me, why he feel that way. You can tell me Nash is better <laughs> than me. I can tell you that for sure. Like, nah. Oh, no. Nah. He just got popular when he was in Phoenix. You know what I mean? Like he had just got good. He just got he good. Just he got, got good. I love, I love you. Like he, he just, just got, got good. good. You just got 30. good, homie. You just like, got good. Like I've been good. Like it's like 30 years old is when you stepped on the scene in my mind. Like, you know, when you went there and you, like I know you was like a two-time all-star from whenever you came in, but when you was 30, that's when you became a threat. Other than that, it's like, all right, just push him over or whatever, go under. It's like it wasn't, it was about Dirt, Finley, and all those guys. You know, you was just... So that's how I look at him, like, eh, mm. better than K, better than KG and Kevin Love. No, that's tough over there. Change the game, like, top mm. five center though. Who? In or the top center in Timberwolves history? Was he? Is he a center or a power? He's forward? a power. Forward. He does a little bit of both. Both. But he stretches more, that thing. That more, would be. That would be what. That I mean, KG be, did both, would be right? Joe Smith, KG, Kevin Love, <laughs> Al, Al. Al Jefferson. Al Jefferson? Al Jefferson. Yeah, he better than too. Al. Al Jefferson. He's not nice. better than Al. No, Al Jefferson was nice. Not better than Al. I watched Al personally. I guess he's talking about because <laughs> he stretched the floor, so that just puts Kevin Love in that category and no Kevin Love was doing that. He said but change Dirk? the game. Change the game. Yeah, I but guess. Dirk, but Dirk, Dirk doing that. I mean, that's what I said. It's, mm. So let's talk bigger picture here. When we look just historically NBA, what we've seen in our lives, because we can't go back. But what players have, have changed how NBA basketball is played, in your guys' opinion? That changed the game. The way it's played, the way it's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's say somebody like Steph, right? Yeah, for sure. That's number one for me. Okay, so... Did Magic, did Magic and Showtime change it? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Jordan changed it. Yep. Shaq changed it. Shaq changed it. AI. AI, AI changed, changed it. it. I, uh, I'm gonna say Steve Nash, bro. Ah, uh, sons, the, the uh, way that the right. sons played, bro. The you're way right. he played, it changed the guard sentiment, man. Of just being a guard that can small, space the floor. I, I, I can't I, say. I, I, I can't I, say. I, I can't say Steve Nash. We can say Dan Tony. Dan Tony is. We can say yeah, Dan yeah, Tony, but he played. Yeah. But he was the perfect player to orchestrate that yes. shit. It was. Yeah, you can say Dan Tony small ball because it really actually tried to. It kind of forced people to. Go small yes. ball to keep up with him a little bit. I even got to put you in there because the way <laughs> oh, you yeah. the way you were scoring. I mean, shit, I was in high school and I was wearing your kit. Bro, so I, I'm, like, I, I'm, I'm like, Dame. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, coming down doing that. Like that's what made me come into the league, coming like you know feeling comfortable being able to just you know, like, call off a play and just shoot. Yeah, like, see, you, like you're the first guard I ever seen really do that. Bro, like, see, call off as a point guard. He was the first guard to really attack niggas. Like yeah. how Westbrook was attacking yeah. niggas. Mm -hmm. That's what his mentality like. They ask, like, who's the hardest person to guard? They expect you to say four other niggas. Yeah. Gilbert, he don't give a fuck who in front of him. Yeah, yeah. He coming yeah, nah. at you full speed. Oh, yeah, I had these. It's dead. I had these in high school, these shoes you got on. Nigga. Yeah, it was, uh, it, was, it was, it was, at first everyone was talking Iverson, and then I was like, well, they pushed Iverson to the shooting guard, so that, that point guard being a scoring first point guard wasn't allowed. Um, yeah. Mulberry was being called the ball hog yeah. and doing all this. Mm -hmm. um, and then like somebody like Baron Davis, who could do it, he was forced to be point guard, yep. right? But I was like, I'm not trying to be no shooting guard. Mm -hmm. I'm the point. So y'all just going to accept it for accepted. So that's what turned it into, into today's game, which makes the 
scoring point guard valuable. How do you think your game would translate to the game today? Oh, it'd be it'd be easier. That's just it'd be easier for me because this is how my game was. You know, the 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 three line to the free throw, but I also <laughs> had other elements that played a half court game with posting up or the mid range. Murray got a lot of your element yeah, too. Murray, like he takes the shots that you give him. Like Gil would take if you gave him a two, he take the two. If you gave him space to get off his shit, you give him, like Murray kind of reminded me of that. That's what midi. I, was, I remember when somebody originally said that. Um, I think it was Calvin Booth. He said, "Man, Murray reminds me of you." And I couldn't see it at first, but watch, watching the playoffs, like playoffs, the yeah. mid range, he's gonna get into the seams, he's gonna shoot it. I just got to the free throw line a lot more. Yeah. Do you think James Harden changed the game? Yeah, he did. I think for lefties, for sure. Game. I think for lefties, for sure, too. It, like, because the, the, like, the way you look at a lefties game, the way he plays is like. It made it like he, elite. <laughs> like a lefty like, elite. I don't think we're gonna see the impact of what he did. It, it'd be coming in right now, actually. Hmm. He did. He did. Because of how he played, he made it look so popular to the youth, right? Mm -hmm. The ISO bomb bomb, the extra shake bacon for no reason. Yep. Right? The extra shake and bacon for no reason, putting it to the youth. Now those kids are coming to the NBA that forced the NBA to run a five out offense. So now if you, like, they don't have plays. It's just five-out motion, move, love, love AAU style. You, you think it, would, it James forced trainers to train this way, though? Because remember, when James started the bop, 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 all the trainers started bringing in the extra bop, yep. bop for you. Extra, boom, one leg, yes. step, bop, step bop. back. Yeah. Yeah, he was, everybody started training that way. Mm -hmm. So now you see the youth come in. It's like everybody won't. Well, not won't. They feel like they got to have that in their bag. Have I got to have bop, 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 You know bop. what's crazy, too? He hit it at a good time, too. Remember when KD went to Golden State? It kind of, it kind of like, it kind of pushed Steph back a little bit. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, so James was able to be that ISO guy. Like, mm -hmm. you know, at first it was Steph, and then when KD came over there, it was more like, all right, we're watching James now. Yep. You know? Um, <laughs> this, is, this is a, this is, might be a pokey subject, but... <laughs> I know two people who didn't. Well, I know one. Kareem didn't change the game. Okay. Right? As dominant as he was. Nope. I mean, I mean no, yeah. one was, no one was doing the hook shot, right? Okay. I mean, but... No, no, no. No, don't even try. Let's he not, dominated let's, the let's game. Not, no, no, no. <laughs> let's, 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 <laughs> and we're talking about it's a good argument. Right? It's a good argument. It's a good they argument. They got rid of the dunk because of Kareem in college. They brought it back. I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah, you were, you yeah. were a college Maybe because he was the only person dunking? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> The most dominant one, I'm saying, but they changed rules to adjust it. Um, but you're talking about like as far as the Lakers, his dominant as a Laker. No, just period. I mean, that once he became an NBA, did everyone start adapting to yeah. what he did? Was the rest of the league trying to do fucking hook shots and shit? No. But how hard is it, y'all all try? How hard is it to do a hook shot in the game at that shit level? Yeah. But for big man, but I'm saying when you're talking about changing the game, I mean, yeah, you're, sure. you're changing it. And which is weird. Mm. Did LeBron change? The game. He didn't. Not he even didn't. a little bit? No, nah, I mean, it's not in a bad way, but yeah. it's like the game was already moving in a certain way where LeBron was just in the top. Is it he was in the top tier of the game, of but he didn't huh? change it. Is it, is it. is it because or just because he's just so big? It, yeah, like his strength. The kids can't relate to just coming down, dunking on people. Like if, yeah. if, a, kid, if a kid can't do it, then they're not going to value it. You can't just go get a body like that, yeah. right? Yeah. You just can't get hops like that. So it's like changing the game. We might have wanted to be stronger and jump higher, but like to just, be like just, LeBron. Physically. MJ yeah, like we already knew. Because, like, like, we, like, like we wasn't doing this. And we <laughs> wasn't like, you know. Like when I say uh, James Harden, it's like James Harden and Kyrie, yeah, Kyrie. together. That, that, it was that Bob game bringing in the extra moves and the fancy play, trying to be a highlight reel. Yeah. I feel like Pistol Pete had a lot to do with that too. Early on, Pete Maravich. I mean, he didn't have well, enough film though. But that's he, but that's he have enough film. But that's for Magic. That's for Magic to see, and Magic transcended it. Versus, mm. yeah, but he was getting buckets too. I'm gonna say he was buckets. getting without the three line. He yeah. averaged 44 in college. college. Yeah, I was, I was first trying to one. My top five, but <laughs> his NBA, his NBA career. I thought you had forgot about him, but his NBA career wasn't wasn't that. So we're asking the chat right now, did LeBron change the game of basketball? I think when you look at just kind of this modern NBA, Steph more so than anybody, 
but I don't know necessarily for the better because somebody like Steph who actually works on his shot puts in that work. So many teams saw that. We talked about this on the show, I believe, last week. Where other teams are like, oh, we can shoot threes too because three is worth more than two. But it's like if you don't got the personnel to be able to do what Steph is out there doing, it's not going to end well for you. But that changes the game because yeah. now your personnel has to have three-point capability. Yeah, for sure. Like that, if you look at the metric, it makes more sense that if we're now moving the game towards threes more than twos because threes is more than twos, yeah. it's like, okay, that's what Antoine Walker used to tell me. Hey, bro, three more than two. I'm shooting this shit, right? So now that we're doing that, it's like, okay, how do you make the three more entertaining and comfortable for the player, right? So now everybody that's shooting threes, they're doing it uncomfortably because it's not normal. So all the bigs got to shoot threes, all the threes that can't shoot got to shoot threes. Everybody got to shoot threes now. But if, if you notice, the people who are really successful, like as many threes as Steph shoots, he does still shoot mid-range shots. Yeah. Right, he still shoots mid-range shots, yeah. right? It's a lane. Jokic mid-range shots, um, Jimmy Butler mid-range shots, um, DeRozan. DeRozan, Booker, KD. Like people, KD is KD shoots just as good as Steph, but only takes two to three threes. Yep. Right. He's not wasting his time back there if he can get into the here and shoot a closer shot, guaranteed to. Yep. Um, Murray, you know, mid-range has a nice mid-range game. So it's like the players who really are still dominating are dominating because they still have that mid-range inside. Even Luka. Luka, mm -hmm. yeah. Luke, Kyrie. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the players who, it's like you're selling something that's not, you're, it's like me, right? You, you sold my long threes, right? You sold my long three ball game, not realizing I was averaging about six to eight points on post-ups alone, right? But then I should, that's not the... They, they want to see the game. They want to see the game when it turn around. around. They yeah, want to yeah. see the long shots, yeah. not realizing I'm in the post half the time. <laughs> you got to contribute that to our, our IQ as basketball players, right? So and when you know I need to get these easy buckets mm -hmm. compared to just putting on the show what the fans want to see, I think Luca do a lot of that. Like, he knows they want to see the step back three, bong, bong. But during the course of the game, he get to his sweet spots. Like, mm -hmm. let's not waste shots as players. We, as players, don't want to waste shots in our field goal percentage and all that shit. So it's like, let me just not chase these threes just because it feel good. But that's where the, the game going. It's easier. It's easy to shoot a three. <laughs> like, I mean, you, you sitting here sitting off me, it's easier for me to shoot this shot than actually try to do work trying to take you off the yep. field or something. It, it's, it's exhausting. You made, you made more lazier players. Yes. It's so crazy because that used to be a bad shot when I played. Like, you <laughs> it's know, like, still it's a like, bad like, shot, like, B. Like, not, I mean, if a guy's like, his feet is inside the three-point line, it's like, that's not a bad shot. Like, no, that's, <laughs> like, bro, I'm shooting that. Yeah. Like, you know, back then it used to look like a bad shot Yeah. yeah. On, on film. And it's like, now it's like, that's every. That's, that's a like, good shot, boys. That's a good shot. Like, you got yeah, that's a good shot for the top player, not him. Not him. Not him. <laughs> not him. <laughs> not him. Not him. Like I look like how many threes? It, like Cal Corver, right? He was a specialist. Yes. Right. Yeah. Someone who's coming off curls full speed, shooting that that shot. They were specialists. You're making those specialists, like main option players, doing that. Yeah. I was like, gonna say JJ Redick was a great three point shooter. Yep. He spent a lot of time in the mid range. Yep. One, two dribble, pulling up. Elbow. He wasn't just chucking goddamn threes. No. And not one of these players could beat him in a three-point contest. No. Because JJ knew the, 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 the IQ and the savvy of, like, they're going to run me off the three-point line. I need to have a two-pointer. Mm -hmm. Two dribble, ah, get my shot off. But it's like the IQ of the game is falling out completely because these coaches are not showing the mid-range game. Mm -hmm. Like, this is a whole other dynamic of your bag that you missing. So now you you just like the, 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 the marketplace. There's no middle game. There's just stars and role players. You either got a layup or a dunk or you can shoot the three. That's it. You know who had a chance if they didn't get hurt? Derrick Rose. Mm. I think if Derrick Rose didn't get hurt, he had a chance to, like, because the way he was playing big and dunk, like, he was yeah, dunking on, like, he was, was dunking on bigs. It's like, yo. Whoa. See, he had that it. Yeah, he had the and he had, he had the it the factor. It. He didn't say nothing in Chicago. Yeah, he, like, you know, and every five minutes you knew we about to lose. Yeah. So who's the closest comparison to Derrick Rose now, would you say, in the league? Ja. Ja. Yeah. Ja. Yeah. Cause Ja coming down, dunking on like D Rose. Yeah, like if you look at D Rose in that Miami series when he split that double and dunked yeah. on uh boy, man, that was different. 
Like, you know, like Ja put so much pressure on having a back line because even with the back line, he jumped so high. It's like, it's like D Rose mixed with uh, Dwayne Wade mixed mm-hmm. with like, you know what I mean? Like, Francis. Yes, he, yes. Yeah. Just yeah. explode. And he knows how to like get his footing and his feet to just jump any type of way, wherever you see it. He his just, pick and whoop. rolls, he used to come down just so low and yeah. just go right at your big and just, <laughs> ah. Yes. Like it was just, and then he had a team too. Oh man, they had a team. They had a, they had a great squad. So we talked about LeBron a little bit earlier. We asked the chat, chat's basically 50-50 split. So let's not talk about necessarily LeBron's job on the court, but what about off the court in terms of player empowerment oh, no, no, and no. things like, like that? Like if you, now if we, get the, if we add that into the- Changing the game. Changing the game, then yes. Um, because now he has all these players thinking business before. No, we're not just hoopers, we're businessmen to, you know, we're gonna try to get this. Like when I was, shit, this is like 2006, seven, when um, Tito's, you know, came to me with a proposal, I turned it down because I didn't think that's what players can do. Mm. Have liquor sponsors mm-hmm. and stuff like that. If we just Gatorade, water, mm-hmm. you know, maybe a soda, but liquor, like, oh, no, nah, I'm good. I ain't messing up my bread. Now that's a thing, mm-hmm. right? Once, you know, once a player of that stature says, no, no, I'm getting me a wine, it, it, it pushes everybody else in that category to think bigger. Mm. Is, is it crazy to y'all now that, like, you talk about, Liquor back in those days, and it would probably been a bad look for you to do it the way that you would have been viewed by kind of the outside world, the media. Like you mentioned, these guys got tequila brands, they got wine brands, but also even in this new CBA, they can now do work with, with gaming companies, sports betting companies. This is stuff back in the day would have been like... But that's, but that's just the influence of, you know, certain players that's coming in and, and changing and, and showing that I'm bringing all these elements to the game. So outside of just basketball things, you know, Hublot watch. I got, you know, I'm, I'm bringing all these elements where, you know, if Jordan was playing, it would have been the same way. I mean, people started changing and talking different because of him. Well, you look at the yeah. branding opportunities that, that we were presented with, like imagine you do take Tito's, right? You look at Anthony Hardaway, how he was branding uh, Lil, Lil Penny, you know what I'm saying? Like we all wanted a little penny. We all wanted the piece of the, you know, the branding opportunities, and endorsements, and all that. But back then, they picked who they wanted mm-hmm. to represent brands, right? And allowed it didn't allow all of us to have access to endorsement deals that were like that, like mm-hmm. Tito's and things like that. But just imagine if we did, like now, like now, like everybody has something that they can endorse that's put money behind them and saying, I. Right, here you go, do the nigga. We'd have been so fucking lit, so for so long, just because we got brands, and we in the club, we we doing our thing, <laughs> we doing shit. Champ- I mean, look, champagne companies, man. Mm-hmm. But even now, we're in this phase. You know, AI's got the cannabis strain. Do we feel like we'll see a push from, with current guys? Like, will you ever smoke that Steph Curry? <laughs> Yeah, since it's legal. That 30? Since I mean, legal. Smoke that 30. Legal, yeah. Smoke that 30. 30 before 30. 30. Yeah, 30. Before, but that's the 30 before 30. Because, he's, because he's, on the, he's on the way out, it, it's going to be hard for him to really capitalize on, you know, something like that um, until they, like, really legalize it and say we can in, you can invest in this. Yeah. You know, so that's going to be... So it feels like all that's coming. It's going to be like the Ja Morant, the Jalen Green. That's that crew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Got to yeah. be able to like really brand. Smoking that job pack. Yeah. <laughs> the mellow. Call it 12. 12. Go get that 12. 12 right, it's, pack. It's, it's, so two more questions for you. We look at the, the game today. You look at a guy like Joker. Is Joker changing the way the game is played for a big man? Yeah. Yeah. For a big man? Yeah. Yes. Now, now you have, I think, for, for one with coaches, they're not going to be so aggressive to, to, to say you have to be in the post and dominate in the post. Now those guys who are shooting jumpers and, you know, playing with the ball, it kind of gives them more freedom. So if you're a big man in high school right now and your coach be like, hey, playing the back, but hey, man, Joker just won, man, and B's out there killing, mm-hmm. right? I, I, can, I, I can do more, right? You know, with the last, with, you know, with um, Greek the Freak, Jokic, and Embiid, it should be able to tell these high school kids, like, hey, hold on, these guys are playing like guards too. You see how important it is to be a big man, to have all these little elements that I can add to my game? 
They had that argument now before they didn't. Everybody wanted to shack. I, I think we shouldn't get away from the fact, though, that those are rare exceptions, those three, right? So if we put them as, a, as your entry point for big, it's going to be difficult for those, those, these bigs in the future to reach that because they are rare exception bigs, right? So you look at it, you say, all right, in order for you to be this caliber player, you don't need to shoot threes. You don't need to do this. Just be a big. Mm -hmm. Be a fucking big. Yeah. But what does but that if mean you, now? Right. But if you don't have what Joker has, it's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's presenting an a added element, right? So if you got what Embiid have, but you don't got that pass element that Joker, if you did have it, it's like, oh, you're a unicorn. You're a unicorn because we don't expect nobody to have this little element, which is to be able to have a soft touch, pass the ball to your teammates, and ultimately, you know, rebound the ball. But is that it? That's every big overseas, right? Yes. Well, I mean, I every, think they encourage that a lot more. Every five, every, I mean, every five man is basically universal, mm -hmm. right? They can pass, they can dribble, they can post up, they can hit the mid-range. They can. Mm. You go back to Scola, Bar Bargiani, all of them, Przingis, yeah. but they all stretch and pass. That was kind of the issue with American basketball, at least back in the day, right? You went to practice, bigs over here, guards over here. Very rarely a guard like yourself may come do some oh, big I, man drills. I stayed on the court. Me too. But, but <laughs> Me too. even less rare would be, all right, big man, go do, go work on guard. Like, you know, coach used to cuss your ass out. Yeah. If they see you even like, what you working on that what for? You you know? <laughs> yeah, what you, what you even thinking about doing that for? So I think seeing kind of this wave of guys like KD kind of ushered in this era now where, you, you know, even somebody like a Bo Bo who may not get the respect he deserves, but I remember Bo in high school bringing the ball up the court as a, you know, seven footer, seven one, is really starting to transition. So I think a lot more coaches are incorporating that now into just their practice, how they approach the game. We're not just saying, look, you big, get your back to the basket. Hey, before Jokic, right, who was dominating, what, what was Cousins at? Cousins was Jokic. He was, if you look at his right. game, he was Jokic. I forgot about that. Right? Sacramento. He was Sacramento. Jokic. Sacramento. And he yeah. could pass that thing. He moved just like Jokic. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, wait, you know, uh, we've that's seen it before, but I, think, yeah. but I think because he of the- He in Puerto Rico right now, bro. I, I think because of the attitude he had yeah. and yes. that demeanor, people yeah. just yeah. kind of like glossed over. And I'm like, wait, isn't Cousins, wasn't yeah. Cousins the big cousin man was the, the pulled it out? Was he the, the, like he was a post up. He was mid range. He Like he was throwing AD lobs. Yeah, and he was bringing it up too. Yeah, okay, so right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, like 28, 11, and 5, 25, 13, or 5. I mean, you know, like yes. monster numbers. Five, five, five assists? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was giving us yes, monster was, stat lines too, bro. Okay. Like, yeah. For AD, he was yeah. giving us. You know how good Sacramento would be right now if they kept him? With him and him and IT. Like, 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 like what that team they have? Mm. Like with Darrington Fox and them youngins? Man, if they wouldn't have turned Tyreek Evans into a shooting guard. Come on, man. Let him worst, play. That was the worst move they did. 20 a game, rookie year. 6'8", six, point guard. Six, six, he had me in the 6'6", six, 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 but six. I mean, well, he was built damn near like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I remember he had me in the post. I was like, oh, no, nah, we're going to have to do something. <laughs> 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 we got the fun. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, not, hell, I'm, not, I'm not trying to guard someone bigger than me yeah. doing this. Yeah. So let's... Keep this thing moving. We're going to talk a little bit about, obviously, just, just the playoffs this season. So NBA Finals were slightly down from last season despite a marquee matchup between the Nuggets and the Heat. Uh, but overall, the NBA... <laughs> marquee matchup. <laughs> marquee. Man. For the trained eye, uh, right? For non-casuals. For fans with beautiful basketball, that's, that's how we're trying to sell it. We warned y'all. Yeah. <laughs> we we warned y'all. trying to tell you what was going to happen. But, but overall, the NBA playoffs uh, did its thing, was the most watched in the last five years in terms That's of true. ratings. So just looking back on this postseason, what was your favorite moment from this playoffs? Um, you got to say uh, all of all of the first rounds. All of, I mean, when, like mm -hmm. like when we talking about matchups, you you're, you're talking about especially in the West, it was key matchups in the first round. I mean, the first round was not safe for anybody. I mean, first round, you're talking about Sacramento against Golden State. Like, come on. Yeah. Uh, Lakers versus Grizzlies. Like, come on. That's like, you're, you're talking about first round matchups that's like, that wasn't lopsided. You're talking about, we don't know who's going to win this series. Like, that's Sac Golden State. And even he bucks, but Sac <laughs> Golden State, you know what I mean? But like, probably one of my favorite playoff series. What was the question again? Just uh, favorite, uh, favorite moment, moment from the playoffs. Like, I'm just the whole oh, yeah. first rounds for me. Game seven, game seven, Golden State, um, Golden State and um, Sacramento. 
Yeah, that was that one of my favorite piece? games, the 50 piece. Of course, he had the tough crowd on salute. Um, <laughs> then, and then when they lost in game six to the Lakers, beautiful no, moment. salute again. He had tough crowd on <laughs> salute, you know. Beautiful uh, moment for the city. You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, but he had his, but he did his thing. Um, <laughs> a lot of dogs. Okay, so Freedom said the best moment. Was when the Lakers got their ass swept up under the Ooh. goddamn motherfucking table. Ooh. Hey, if that wasn't Ooh. the greatest moment of the whole fight. <laughs> yeah, Freedom say, yeah, talk that shit. Look, it's embarrassing. It's goddamn it embarrassing. How's Y'all it, wouldn't even. How's it embarrassing? Not thinking think about that to really? be the best moment. No, the Lakers weren't. The Lakers no. really weren't supposed to oh. be there though. No, my oh. moment is the thirteenth seed. The Lakers was. The Lakers were supposed to be there. Didn't get one game, bro. Came close though. Bro, you, you t- all have mercy. The Lord said, you niggas ain't going to get nailed nutter games. <laughs> they couldn't get a nailed gentleman's sweep. Nutter. They couldn't get a gentleman sweep. They couldn't nah. get a nailed nutter out Just of them. Watch out. Man, Austin, l- listen. Austin, I am him, Reeves. Nah, the most important, the, the, the most <laughs> memorable <laughs> was when, they, when we got to see everybody's first round. Because we, we was talking about it. Like, who we going to watch? Who we want to watch? So what was the Miami and uh, Milwaukee first? Yes. Time, right? <laughs> uh, what Lakers and Memphis, right? Lakers and Memphis, right? Yeah, Sacramento and Golden State. Uh-huh. Yeah, some good first- yeah, yeah, we all picked the good first round. Clippers, yeah. Suns, Clippers, Suns, Clippers, Suns, Clippers, Suns. Clippers, Suns. Clippers, Suns. Yeah. It's all good. The first round was the best. I got hurt. Yeah. And then, um, and then over in the East, where we had uh, Cavs. Cavs, Cavs and, Knicks, um, Celtics, New York, New York, Cavs and like that's just a, that first round, man. That was probably the best first round, yeah. Like list. That's why I said just watching, like, oh, this is gonna be, yeah. this is gonna be some good shit right here. Yeah. I mean, you had good. Then it turned down like right after that, like after the first round on the East, on the East. Okay. It turned down on the East. But even the Dylan Brooks stuff, which you know was dominating headlines, poking the bear. Let's talk about the good. You want to talk about? The sweeps, but they helped. That was the good. The sweep they, was good. They helped elevate the Nuggets to greatness. So the Lakers but, deserve. They should have that, a parade. The sweep was the best thing to happen. But to of, the NBA. of course, it was the best for you because you had them. You had them out. They wasn't gonna make the play-in game, right? You had them out first round. You had them out second round. So of course, <laughs> for you, it was great because they finally got out. <laughs> or anybody else that don't like the Lakers. Everybody who don't like the Lakers, but, uh, we had a celebration. It took you three rounds to get that done. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you motherfuckers have survived. <laughs> Wait, you don't like the Lakers? Huh? I, I say you're not a Lakers fan? Like, you don't like the Lakers at all? No one knows. You'll go with the Clippers? We don't know. Before the Lakers, huh? I already told y'all why I don't fuck with the Lakers right now. Oh, okay. LeBron brung his ass over here fucking up my man Legacy and he fucked up the Lakers. What? He's a Kobe fan. Yes. He elevated and heightened, oh, heightened Kobe's legacy. Brung this fucking bullshit. Brought that championship <laughs> mentality. Brung this bullshit ass <laughs> bubble shit over here. Hey, and the motherfuckers sitting around here dancing, you, dancing about this bubble so shit. You like, his, so you hate Boston? Yeah, I hate Boston. Well, then LeBron gave us a championship that, that tied it. Right? That's the tie. That was a tie championship. Yeah, but. That was the. This, that was this the tie. LeBron's fault again. Le- LeBron, we tied it. It's LeBron's fault. We not it's behind LeBron. Boston it's no more. This is LeBron's fault again. We not. Look, we, we let not. Let them behind. niggas win another chip. We not behind <laughs> them anymore. Fuck. We tied now. <laughs> LeBron did that. Shit, man. <laughs> Sixteen championships is crazy. I know. So we hit LeBron again. There's been a ton of talk amongst uh, Lakers Nation and people saying whether or not LeBron deserved the statue. Y'all know I'm a, I'm a lifelong LeBron fan. I don't think he deserves the statue in front of Staples. Cleveland, Miami, or if you want to be real, give him a statue in front of every arena. I'll say Cleveland for sure. I'll say Cleveland, Cleveland for sure. Cleveland for sure. Jersey retired. Should have and, been and, had one in Cleveland. And get his already. jersey retired up in uh, Miami. But I'm saying statue. Well, shit, they got to give Dwayne Wade one first. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying the order of where you know. There's obviously a line of people, but there's been talk. Does LeBron deserve a Lakers statue? I just don't think a Lakers statue. I, I don't. If he get a leg, I wouldn't really gotta put a statue. To, I, mean, every I, mean, I wouldn't really care. I don't, this is it, I every don't, team gives him a statue. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, no, what I'm saying, it's one of those things where, like, you you didn't do, like, you, you didn't do enough in the Laker uniform for a Lakers statue yeah. to be built. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's gonna be the argument. Like, um, like it's your resume in that city. Same thing with Miami. Um, you have Dwayne Wade. After him, what Alonzo? Morning? Tim Hardaway. Tim Hardaway. Tim, no. You don't think Bron goes, goes ahead of Alonzo? 
Yeah, Bron goes ahead of Lonzo for sure. Why? Two-time MVP, two-time finals MVP, three rings here. I mean, did Lonzo even play in another uniform? I mean, he's Charlotte first. I mean, Charlotte didn't there, then I mean, Haslam. But two trips. Haslam? Is it longevity or is it accomplishments? I mean, you, you, we're talking I mean, about as, a, as, a, as, as, um, it's as a, an organization, right? Part of the culture. Yeah, I mean, his impact in Miami was crazy, though. I know. It was But it was quick. And, but he quit on them, too. I was, I was a nah, nah, he I, quit on them, too. No, nah, I just Ooh. came here and got he my... He quit on them, too. We I lost and I'm bouncing. Because I'm going back home. Going back home. I, I came here we to learn. Lost. I came here to learn how to Don't win. Don't leave us on a loss. I came nah, here yeah. to learn how Don't to win. Leave us. You said Take you were going to get us seven championships. I know that was impossible. But you said it. No, how's that but impossible? You said well, it. I, I, just bring up the clip. To promote. Bring up the clip. To promote. You Only said time. you was going to get. He said seven. Seven. Oh no, he said one, two, three, four, five. I mean, you know, he was in his bag. He was in his bag. Don't leave us when we lost. We got you going to. He was in his bag. I want to hear that shit. Then you left them because you lost. He was 21 then you Savage. Him. I got one, two, three, four. <laughs> he was 21 Savage out there. Hell no, I'm not right. He was the first one to listen to 21 Savage. <laughs> give him so a statue in, in motherfucking Cleveland. Oh, yeah, show. Yeah, I mean, mean, so no statue I mean, Miami. Just, I mean, I don't know why it's taking so long. Yeah, they should have like, been I don't know that. what's taking so long for LeBron to get a statue right now. There's some things that, yeah, they're, they're, it's like. Wait, wait. Does Kareem Abdul-Jabbar have a statue? Active player. That's, I mean, they got to wait for him. This, what is Kareem's statue? Did Michael Jordan was Kareem an active player. Kareem got one in, uh, in the Staples. Staples, unless I'm smoking crack. Yeah, I yeah. so. Michael yeah. Jordan was an active player. And he got a, and he played and won three more rings with a ring. Look, you tell me LeBron exactly. James can't get that in this era? 100%. The, the the most points scored ever. Like Cleveland, like Cleveland. they should be trying to do it now. Cleveland, do your thing, man. Like you, you do like, your thing. You know like what? Lead that shit away from state. Are you gonna, you gonna put a statue crypto. of a man that's not even on yeah. your team? Yes, Le I'm just asking. Yes, you. yes, yes. Because when LeBron left, I mean, you, you see the percentage in the city that was going. They was making so much. Man, they made so much money. Man, they owe him. Yeah, they got it. They, they owe him. I mean, that's. I mean, Jordan got it while he was still playing. You know, you yeah. get to walk. Shine a little shit. <laughs> Come on, man. So we talked Melo uh, Joker jersey retirement. You think Brian gets his jersey retired by the Lakers? Did he knew it, do enough to do that? Yeah. yeah. 20, what yeah. number? What? Number six. 23 or three? What? Oh. Well, no, 23 or six? 20. What did he win in the championship in? Well, no, 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 no. He decided When did he get the asterisk? Oh. What? 23. No, it's 23. Yeah. Championship was in 23. Okay. It's because he started with 23, won a championship, yeah, the championship, then went six, six, and then three. 23. Okay. Because he's 23 right now, right? No, he's six. Six. Oh, he's number six now. Wow, so, no. Wait, bro. Wait, hold on. So he did the shot in the. Uh, see, see, you see, you already got him confused. Nigga, and use it. Nigga, change teams. I'm, I'm, I'm a regular. I'm, I'm, I'm a casual, dude. I'm a casual. You a casual he's LeBron a, fan now? Number six. He's six now. Well, okay. which I mean, one is he? So he which team is no, he no, on? No, no, no. We don't know what team he on. Well, technically, technically, he can't get six retired. There's no championship under six. Can he get 23 retired? He only got one. He only got one season. He can get six retired up in Miami. Yeah, six retired in Miami for sure. Yeah, he, don't, he don't have no. He don't have no. no so, so can he get the, the twenty three with the the hardest championship in NBA history in the bubble? No home court advantage. They got to put a bubble over that, that over like, that tro over that, like, over that jersey up there. To, you, so you can put a, put put the jersey yeah. in a bubble. Yeah, put, yeah, a, put the jersey in a bubble because it's bubble board. On it. Yeah, you got COVID. Your on stat, it. That's what I say. Your stats have to match it in that in I that like uniform in that city. Yeah, like when he was talking about. Kobe's two jerseys, they had to put the stats on both, and we're like, yeah, both Hall of Fame. Yeah, right, they're, yeah, they're both, yeah. yeah. You, both Hall of Fame. Nobody career. else can. Nobody else can do that. That's legendary. Brian might be the first to have three jerseys retired. Nah. Brian. Brian might be the first to have 20, three jerseys retired. Twenty-three. He could be in Cleveland. He could be six in Miami, uh -huh. and then the Lakers. They ain't getting no Lakers jerseys. Man, he he, he got to. It's if they get it, because he do, broke the record. He in broke the, jersey. the record in the jersey. In the jersey. He that's why. Ooh, he that's got why. A, he got a whole three. That's why I'm like, that's it's just he got like a whole three thousand points. Fucking up my, man, fucking so, up my okay. man's Hold on. shit. All right. Just bringing your accolades stories over here. Fucking up the story. Nah, just because of who he is, they got to. Because of who he is, they got to. No, see, but that's the problem. Like Kobe just, was winning. I just Oscars can't retire your jersey because you, because of who you are. You wanna, were you that person here though? Yes, you won a ring, and I got the and I got the record here. Like I, I heard Snoop. Snoop said he put top Lakers ever. Yep, yeah, I seen. And that. he put Kurt, um, Wilt here. How? He said, "Yeah, Wilt had a hundred. Not in this uniform. That's Philadelphia." We got him. He was old here. Yeah, but I'm not finna like old. Him. Still turning up. Yeah, though. but I'm, but I'm saying it was old Wilt here. But he was still breaking them numbers. But what I'm saying, the the concept of what he was thinking about, 
yeah, I'm was a whole nother dude. The one we got here is... Yeah, Snoop's the greatest, but I, I, I'm not listening to any rappers talk about, like... <laughs> Like no, he's a fan. fan, no, fan. No, 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 I know he's a fan. Super top five ever out of L.A. Yeah, like, yeah. Probably the best rapper ever, but I'm just cool on the rappers talking about who. Because <laughs> they, they would do that when we talk they about bias. Yeah. rap. Hmm? Like, why we want to listen to what you talking about on the rap? You know what I mean? I don't care about your top five. <laughs> they do that to they us. Do that uh, but, but they do care because they want to be us. Mm. Uh, so let me just they, read, they read the Wilt stats they for you. So here, Wilt in his career, 30, 30 points, 23 rebounds a game. Wilt as a Laker, 19 points, or 19 rebounds, 17 points, 4.3 <laughs> assists. In 339 games. Mm. Mm. He was getting it in, at least 8,000 of that 20,000. I'm telling you, bro, Bron going to be the first player with three jerseys retired. And he might get two statues. They might give him one in Miami. I'm telling you. Nah, no, I'm Miami trying. don't look like a statue type. type nah. <laughs> well, they need. I mean, well, they need to do something. He because, can't, because, can't because a, listen, Miami ain't gonna win another ring until they start. They can't doing, put a statue. Uh, I know Wayne they can't Wayne put a respect. statue in L.A. Huh? They can't put one in L.A. Yeah, that's fine. Them that's Kobe fine. fans ain't playing that shit. No, that's, no, that's one fine. thing they not doing. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. He, 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 he wearing a Laker uniform, but the Kobe fans ain't. What, what would he need to do to be statue eligible? Eligible? Excuse me, damn, I'm out here. Fuck. Win another ring. Four ring. One, maybe three. Four rings. You think one is two? Just, just win two, two more. Just win two. Just, two. Win, just win one more. Two, get him a so, statue. So no, two, no, 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 no. Just two rings. No. Yes, at 39? How many statues do we got right now? Up there. Three? Kareem, Four. Magic, Kareem, Shaq, Elgin. Shaq. How many Elgin. Elgin. How many Elgin championships? They put Elgin Bader? What? They Elgin's up there. Why? How many, how many, sta- how many statues? That, I mean, Elgin Baylor was that dude. Dude. How many? How many championships Elgin Baylor got? Let me check. I know James, he, man, where's James? I think there, he could have got the James one. I think he retired. He, he, he retired the year that they won. Up. That one, I want to say 72 or whatever it was. They got James Worthy. They kind of got James fucked up, huh? They got James Worthy so fucked he up. He retired before Adrian. that championship year because of the janky body. But Because, I mean, the, well, the real ones, they got four championships, four or five championships. They need to put Phil Jackson out there. So they got the Chick Hearn out there. They got Chick Hearn out there. Out there. Austin I, mean, Reed, Phil, I mean, Phil, they got a Austin damn, they might as well put Pat Riley out there. there. I mean, they no, might as well put no, Pat out I'm there. No, they hey, man, hold on, man. We're not just going to be putting statues of the band out there. Put the whole band out there. It should be statues all over the state. This ain't Disneyland, man. This ain't Disneyland. It is. For the basketball culture? That's some Clipper shit. Man, no, no. The Staple Center is damn Disneyland for basketball, bro. Do that. Do that. Do that goofy stuff over with the Clipper nation. Y'all start putting like, Ron Harper, put man, Ola McKinney. Stop, 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 it ain't about the Lakers shit. That was Staples Center shit. All right, well, I mean, first Staples, of all, and Wayne Gretzky was the hold, same. Hold on, with, hold on. What he did with the LA. Uh, all right, shout out to that Saints. Shout out, shout out. Yeah. No, respect, no, for sure. That, yeah. I mean, they Fuck that, no. they, they, that's yeah. the wire that's cutter. They, no. they out there for staple culture. Okay, not, well, not well Taylor Swift need to be out there too. No, see, not that. You, no, I mean, see. she got a statue. Real shit. What are we talking Real about? Real shit. She got a statue. Real shit. I'm just saying. Bullshit. Real shit. And they built the Staples Center. What did they build it for? Who's coming, Barrett? Oh, Lisa Leslie's getting a statue too. Very okay. Well when they built the Staples Center, what was the reason it was built for? It was built for basketball, right? Yes. And turning up. And no, it and was concerts, built. And it concerts. was built for basketball. That means concerts. everything else was secondary. That means any other sport that came in that building, it was not built for you. So your stat, your your stats don't count. Sorry, Wayne Gretzky, you can we can build nah, that. Chip. Where are you from? That. Don't do that to Wayne. Don't do that to Wayne. What do you do for Wayne? What do you do for Wayne? I love hockey. Don't do that to Wayne. Don't do that to I love Wayne. Wayne. Number nine, I love that shit. How but can you say that? This built the building was built for purple and gold. How can you say that? It was that? built for purple and gold. Do you know what Wayne Gretzky did? Then he should have had his own fucking arena to do that shit in front of. They're He's, saying they're saying in fairness that King's colors used to be purple and gold too. Okay. Yeah. Way back in the day. Wayne Gretzky, Ooh. they need to be hitting me out there with that stick. Listen, well, I'm, all I'm saying is, listen, all I'm saying is, just because your team was broke as fuck and y'all had to come up in our yeah, arena. You're disrespecting. Because, yeah. What I'm saying is, listen, every sport should have their own fucking arena. So if the Kings get the fuck out of our arena and go get your own shit, 
Right? Build your own statue. Have your own legacy. Multi-use. Now, 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 now think about Bird Prison. Go back to the L.A. Coliseum. This, the, uh, Thank you. Now think about this shit right here. That shit's let's say the, the, oh, let's say the Clippers yeah. won stadium. a championship and wanted to put a fucking statue out in front of Staples Center. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Marcus Johnson statue. Yeah, no, I ain't going crazy. Yeah. Man, I, even this is your father. You see how fucking bullshit he is? He would say no. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Y'all, let me be honest with you. If a Clipper, if a Clipper statue go out there, that shit going to get tagged. And, and, they might take the, and they might take that motherfucker. <laughs> Depending, no, on, no, no. Hey, depending on who the Clipper is. No, no, it, no, it, no, no, it, no, it, no, who it is. No, if a Clipper statue got outside, they taking that shit. What Clipper off. would you put up? It there right don't now? none. Yeah, Clipper Daryl. Who can get a? Hey, hey. That's the only shit. Clipper Daryl. They gonna let that statue live. Clipper Daryl out there like that's, this. That's, that's, the the only, that's, the that's the only real Clipper that's been a Clipper for. There you go. But that's what I'm saying. It's like. This is this arena was built for basketball. <laughs> so just because they put every sport in it don't mean every sport gets acknowledged in this building, not outside the building. So you tearing Oscar down. Gone. Damn. Oscar. No Why problem. does he what you know, Coke and hoes. Did, wait, hold on. Wait. Coke and, Coke and hoes. Wait, what I'm saying is, is he did he do every fight here? No. The big fight. Taylor Swift the got big more. Fights. What, what, Taylor Swift sold it out more than he did. He had all the like so if he built Golden Boy basically man, GM, on the it, back. Let on MGM the back do that shit. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, MGM should put Floyd and all them Floyd, niggas. Yeah, 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 yeah. All yeah. Right, it's it's the Staples. Staples. Staples was Oscar's shit. No, that, he did that shit. MGM was Floyd's maybe, shit. Maybe, this May, was Oscar's maybe uh, what was it May 5th? <laughs> Single de Mayo? Single de Mayo. He did a fight here for the Hispanic culture. I get that. But a statue in a basketball arena. Built for basketball. You must have had a lot of Mexicans at the motherfucking For sure. Fight. Hey, if you got a statue out here at a basketball up. arena. So, okay, so Jay-Z gets a statue outside of the, uh, the, the, the Knicks. The Barclays? Because he, he sold it out every time oh, he did. Madison Square. I mean, my, I mean, I mean, I mean he should get a banner. Give him I a mean, banner. Something. Give him something. a banner. You see? Something. You see what Staples did? What you mean? This bullshit. Listen, they need to put, they, Staples Center need to put Taylor Swift out there. Get the fuck with, with a mic and just have it just Kanye, boom, boom, boom. And now the BET Awards. <laughs> now the BET Awards should have a Staples Center because they do all the events there. No, they do across no, the street. No, don't the, do that. At the live. No, don't do that, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Jay-Z can be like, yeah, I want all my awards at the Staples Center for the BET Awards, so shit. <laughs> Chris Brown. Oh, I did my performance out there. Had everybody crying. Where my stuff? You see how no, I'm watered no, down. No, no, no. Y'all done watered down no. the Staples Center. Kobe? It should be only a few people there. It's called the Crypto now. No, it's, it's the Staples Center. It's no, coming no, back. No, the graveyard. No, that's just the it's called the graveyard now. That's just the Staples Center of us. No, but Taylor Swift, he got, she, got a, uh, she got a banner presented by Kobe. So she needs a statue out there. By who? By Kobe. It, she came in his house. Huh? She came and hit. She's a guest. Okay. Just like everybody else. And then he That's put why it. LeBron can't get no goddamn yes. statue because Kobe gone. He ain't yes. Why? Out. We ain't why? handing out no more why? statues. We got folk. We got Kareem just passed the torch. We got listen. We got Shit. we got we got Kobe. We got Kareem. Magic. We got Magic. Shaq. Right. And Shaq. Shaq. And Shaq. Shaq. Chick Shaq. Hearn. Shaq. Hearn. Right. El we can get Phil. We can get Phil. Can Stu Lance get one? I don't even Who? know what it is. I don't even know. <laughs> Phil. Hell no. Stu we, Lance can't get one. Oh, next Stu, to the shit? black guy with the fro? Yeah, with next to shit. Hell yeah. Okay. Phil. Hell yeah. Stu Lance. Yeah, no, Stu Lance. Lance no, but they gotta have his fro, right? We can get Phil. We can. We can even get Pat Ryan. <laughs> right. Pat, no, all right. I, listen, I wouldn't even mind Kirk Rambis. For what? Oscar De La Hoya. Kurt Rambis. Where is he, where's he from? Did you just so what about James LA? Worthy? James Worthy ain't did enough? East? No, East L.A. Yo, come then on. Then you put him down East L.A. Where he from? You put you him down there. Put a street, De La Hoya Street, and then had a yeah, statue I'm in the say, front. Yeah. Come I mean, on. James Worthy? Come on, man. These people got home. Where's Taylor Swift from? James Worthy is a... James Worthy needs to be up there. Where's Taylor Swift from? Somewhere not here. You say Go to her street. You say put it in her hometown. You know, if she from you know Kentucky. You know, there's a there's a there's a there's a part of the highway that says Welcome to Kentucky. The shit should be right there. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Where Pennsylvania. You born. There's a there's part of the road. But welcome to Pennsylvania. You see, boom <laughs> statue. Yo, does AI deserve a statue in Philly? Huh? Does AI deserve a statue? In yes. A him. Him. Um, and that's yeah, it. Chuck? I'll put Charles Barkley in and Phoenix. Julius Irvin. I'll put, Irvin. And, I'll put uh, Charles Barkley in Phoenix. And, uh, Doctor. Um, and Dr. J. Yeah, yeah. yeah Dr. If you ain't going to do the, the, AI and Dr. J. For sure. AI has a statue in Philly, according to our, our expert. You do? It's in not it. at the arena. See, that's that bullshit. Wait, what? It's more at the club. Is it at the club? What the fuck is Wait, that? Yeah, where is at the club? Wait, no, no. What are you talking about? Yeah, but where's the statue? He got a statue at the club for sure. Yeah, but where's the statue? Where's the statue? 
More, he said more of a sculpture than a statue. <laughs> that nigga deserve us. Uh, Y'all are wild boys. He deserves right. Well, let's talk about uh, Nuggets looking to repeat this year. We got to keep this thing moving. Y'all are crazy. Hey, lucky I didn't we win still got to get to our point. Hey, lucky I didn't win a championship. Statues. I would have built my own. Statues. Just put that's it there. No, no, for real. I would have built my own. I need y'all help. <laughs> no, nah, dead ass. Yep. And I'm going to retire my own jersey. I appreciate it. Fuck out of here. I appreciate it. I ain't waiting. Me. We can go 50, 50 on it. <laughs> that was like high school. You just retired by taking the shit. Yeah. Nobody else wear it. Not turning this shit back in at the end of the season. Nobody else will wear this number. You know at Oak Hill, we don't get our jerseys retired in high school. You don't retire no jerseys. What? Mm. What's the actual school like at Oak Hill? Like, what's the, how big is the school? 120 kids. Uh, 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 that's why I'm, I'm. Huh? Yeah, I don't go to school. You had to go to yeah, class and shit? Yeah, we do. Okay. I'm yeah, it's 120 sure. kids. Um, I graduated with 20 kids in, my, in, in the senior year, so it was six to a class, five to a class. So you get yeah. a lot of attention. Oh, that's good. Even though I got all that attention, I still couldn't pass the SAT. Um, <laughs> culturally but, biased, Brandon. Yeah, that's you know, yeah, culturally yeah. biased. I fell asleep. I'm like, fuck this. Um, <laughs> but gotta, five kids in a class, I mean, you got to go to class every day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, because you live on campus, so it's a college. It's like a college campus. So you live on campus. The, the uh, basketball team, they stay in their arm dorm away from everybody. Because when we leave, people used to try to sell our gear and, and come yeah. in our rooms and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> but no, it's cool, though. I mean, shit, you just live on campus. You got to learn how to wash your clothes. You got to just, you know, grow up. Being an adult. Like, like being an adult. So it's like if you want to focus on basketball and just get to it, that's the best place for you. Because no distractions. Mm. I mean, you know, you're away from everything. But it's just like, man, those two years, if I don't leave Dominguez and go to Oak Hill, I don't become who I am. You know, who, who I am. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, I was always curious. I was watching Bron versus Oak Hill just randomly on yeah. YouTube the other night when Marcus Williams yeah. was there killing like that. Yeah. No, it's tough. I, I mean, wonder what, you get all the Jordans, you get everything you want. You're going to get all the gear. And, you know, we, we, we don't play for state. Yeah. So if we lose one game, if we don't national championships, uh, national champions, we don't get nothing. For sure. For but sure. we don't play for state or nothing because we'll win. Well, y'all don't year. play for state. Y'all want y'all play for nationals, right? Yeah, just na just nationals. See, the, California don't get to play for nationals. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. So we don't so play for stupid. state. Like it don't because it you know we'll win it every year. But you could play. I mean, if you're the number one team, like yeah. like Dominguez yeah. with Tyson and that crew won the national. No more. Yeah, but they won it. Uh, yeah, yeah, in '99, 2000. Like, Tyson they don't. Won it. Yeah, they don't. They don't do nationals anymore for uh, California. You just the state championship. That's I just think if you win out or whatever it is. Yeah, but if you're a top team, you don't get invited to like the national championship. No, California oh, wow. don't do that anymore. Oh, they don't. They oh, wow. Not, mm, okay. That's weak. That's shit. Because the girls, our, our girls won state championship and that's it. Wow. Let's talk about another championship. Nuggets, you know, looking to repeat this year. Mike Malone, I heard talking big shit. I'm sure everybody saw he was on Pat McAfee's show. <laughs> Trying to clown he took, LeBron. He took that Jimmy Butler coffee cup and uh! just clowning. Very petty gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Most pettiest white man in, in the yeah, NBA right now. <laughs> but who's the biggest threat to the Nuggets repeating next season? Uh, as of as of right now, no one. <laughs> because I mean, no, no for real, no for real, no yeah. one, no one. I mean, we got to wait until like trades or you know anything happens, free agency. Yeah. As of right now, the way the rosters are, nobody. Yeah, they should fear. They're fine in the West. They should fear no one. Yeah, I agree. Because I mean, how many free agency? How many free agents they got? I don't even know. One, maybe, Gordon, maybe. Just yeah. they got one free agent. Tyler. So they they they're, they're the only team that's. I mean, Chris Paul. We don't know what's gonna happen with him, right? Kyrie. We don't know what's going on with him. It looks so. We don't know where he's at. Uh, the Lakers. They got to get fifty-two new guys. I mean, we don't know what's going their, on. Their core of Ish Smith, Jeff Green, DeAndre Jordan, all free agents. Thomas yeah. Bryant, Reggie Jackson. Yeah, so that, the bench. But that's that's one of those situations now where they'll probably won't resign a lot of those guys, but they'll become a desirable location. Yeah, so for free I mean, agents out so, there uh, trying to ring chase. Nah, but that that part of their roster makes them tough outside of the MP and Michael Porter and, and, and But they got they got Joker, Jamal Murray, uh MPJ, Aaron Gordon, KCP, Bruce Brown got a player option. And that's it. No, and other Brown. And then Christian Brown. That's the, it. The top, the, the top, the only seven, seven, eight plays. So if you take, if you got <laughs> take everybody Watson. else. I'm just saying, you got Peyton Watson who if, will look to fill the role of one of these guys that they end up dipping. So the guys that left, if they actually get guys better than those guys, it keeps them number yeah. one. Right? For sure. But I think that, um, that'll they become didn't use the spot. Those guys. But they were available. Jeff yeah. Green was available. DeAndre Jordan was available. It still kept them ahead of everybody else. If yeah. You were gonna but now to become one of those spots for guys who want to ring chase older dudes. Yeah. Hey, I'll come. I'll come cut y'all a deal just to get on the squad. Play with. I Joe. feel like they're gonna have like to go. Philly, in. like this is at Philly. You don't know what they're gonna do with James. I mean, the only two teams that's like we know that their core is gonna be back is uh, Bucks and, and Denver. 
At the, Bucks never yeah. in Miami. Yeah. What I'm about good. a healthy footed LeBron in the Lakers squad? But we don't know what we don't know. We don't know what's Ooh. happening with Reeves and they don't Rui. even got coming back. Five. We don't they know that five. though. But that's Reeves and Rui are coming. They're not Rui, Reeves not coming back. We don't know that. Who? They gonna offer Reeves uh, eighty to hundred? Now Reeves coming back. I just saw Reeves' signature shoe. Lakers yeah. yeah. magic plus he, seven. Shit, they just gave him a. Uh, and he's with Tyler track. Swift. He was Taylor Swift. Too. Nah, I was, who is? That was that was a rumor. Who is? It was fake. Austin, oh, I'm about to say Austin, he cracked. Fake. Shit, nah, he better. Austin, oh, by the way, Oscar De La Hoya is from uh, East LA. Yeah, yeah that's where his statue should be. What I'm saying is like you're not pra- you're not practicing your fights in here every single day, right? Every like, so they on. should have a gym like his own gym and just have a statue. Out there. Mayweather got his own gym. If he gets retired, retire your gym, right outside this goddamn boxing gym. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How is just outsiders allowed to come in here and just set up? Shop? He's not, but he's from East LA. You know what? Since Oscar has one, I have a record against against the Lakers. Uh, the Lakers. 60. <laughs> 60, you know, as opponent, put my shit up there. You can make it small. You can make it mini me. <laughs> Right, you can put a little bobblehead up there. I don't give a fuck at this point. Shit, y'all just doing it just to do shit. We're going to take that bobblehead upstairs. We're going to get that shit bronze yeah. and we'll put it next to Kobe. Right at, we'll put it right uh, next to Kobe. Right, right there, just like at the foot. You know what I mean? It ain't got to be Kobe's whole body. Just like, like I'm a little dude. Like, you know, he's just like, you know, holding down like he got my Heisman trophy just down there. Like, shit, he's just putting everybody up. Just Give Reggie Bush back his Heisman trophy. <laughs> just have to put that out. He should just steal that shit. But uh, so we talked. You said I don't know how they got it back in the first place. <laughs> what do you mean? How you get it from them? Because they took. Because they said the stuff that he did, so they had to take it. And, but, I'm saying, but, but first of all, the person who who t- Vince he took it right. Vince Young took it right. No, nah, Vince Young won his own. So Reggie had his. SC made him give it back. But to your point, Gil, if I'm Reggie, like nigga, you, I don't know where it's at. I lost it. Just like Joker did, right? I don't know where it went. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you mean? Give it back? All right, come so, get it. You talked about Bucks and Nuggets being, you know, the potential finals matchup, but both healthy for next season. So Giannis and Joker are arguably the best two players in the world right now, but have some different views in terms of failure. So you might remember after the Bucks <clears throat> were eliminated by the Heat in the first round, Giannis had this to say. It's the wrong question. It's the wrong it's question. Failure Eddie. in sports. You know, there's good days, bad days. Some days, some days you are able to uh, be successful. Some days you're not. <laughs> some days it's your turn. Some days it's not your turn. And that's what sports about. You don't always win. Some other other people's gonna win. And this year, somebody else is gonna win. And he also said, "Do you get a promotion every year?" I know one thing: uh, underdog fantasy better give us that goddamn promotion, mm-hmm. or it's yeah. a you failure. See I came. Yeah, <laughs> ready, ready. I put on a sweater. I put on a sweater. <laughs> performance I'm, reviews I'm and shit. <laughs> so you guys are a hooper. Y'all know about the performance reviews, like where they grade you on. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you, you late to work too much. I love when they say, them. how do you think you got a gr- A? <laughs> a plus? A plus plus? Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> but in the what working world. Well, I think you got to see. Well, put it together, I got a B. Now, what are we talking about? Working where you do performance reviews and then niggas will sneak dish you because it's anonymous from, from the people that you work with and shit. Motherfuckers are trying to hate on your back. Mm-hmm. But nonetheless, Underdog, I think we've served you diligently. For those who still haven't downloaded the app, Go ahead, download the Underdog Fantasy app. Use promo code Gills Arena. They will match your first deposit up to $100. You see how many times? Underdog, I'll be going above and beyond. I know we talked before the season. Mm-hmm. We only needed one per show, two per show. We come in three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Give us our bag. But after the Nuggets won their first chip in franchise history, Joker had this to say about failure. I think you, you need, if you want to be a successful, you need a couple of years. You need, to, you need to be a bad, then you need to be the good. And then you need to figure, then you need to, when you're good, you need to fail. Um, and then when you fail, you're going to figure it out. You know, I think the experience is something that is not what happened to you. It's what you're going to do with that, with happen, what happened to you, you know. And uh, yes, Jamal was injured. Yes, we, we lose the first round or second round in the playoff. I don't even remember who, <laughs> who remembers. Uh, but there is a process that you need to, you need to, there is a steps that you need to fill. And it's it's a it's not a, it's not a, there is no shortcuts it's a, it's it's a, it's a journey, and uh, I'm glad that I'm part of this journey. So I want to ask the group, what do you think about Joker's comments on failure versus Giannis? They're, bo- they're both coming from the same place, yeah. right? Yeah. One's acknowledging failure, though one's saying it don't exist, though. But it's very similar take. Well, I mean, <clears throat> if you listen to Joker first and then Giannis, then it makes more sense. Where well, they, they started losing, they won, and for you to get back to winning, you got to lose to, to feel that. To, so that's where, where Giannis is. He won, he's been failing, 
now he has to get back to what it takes to win again, right? And that's what Joker was just basically saying that, yeah. you know, you know, a couple of years we was losing, we had to feel it, we had to learn how to win. Now that we won, you know, um, for us to become this other thing, we're gonna have to be chin checked. And once we get chin checked, then we can understand the process of getting back to the top. So. It, like it, you have to listen to Joker first, and then Giannis, and then you, then Giannis now makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I just feel like that's how they feel. I think us as like Americans, like, like you remember when Steph Curry and them didn't make the plan, and then he said nobody's going to see us next year, mm -hmm. and then he proved it. Like I think our message is just more like we don't fuck with losing. Like we don't yeah. like like we're not talking about failure and steps to nothing. Like once we taste the champagne or you win, it's like that's what you expect every mm -hmm. year. Yep. So I think that's just the difference between like us Americans and like the Europeans. Like they, okay, we lost this year. Okay, let's get. Okay, let's try to keep going. It's like, nah, like us. Like when we win, it's like that's all we know. Yeah, we won. Like, like, like you know what I'm saying. We're not talking about failure or we anything like that. We're twenty in a row if we can, even though it's not real. Like, 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 you know what I'm saying. Like, but yeah, our, our just our, our our mentality is just a little different when it comes to that. I but, think that's but, like, like that's the. But thing. having but when you don't win, right? Let's say Steph said that, and they didn't come back and win the next year. What do you consider that a failure? Um, like Kanye say, I, what would people say when I, if I didn't win? I guess never we'll know. never know. Yeah. I guess yeah. we'll never yeah. know. Talk about it. Like, I guess we'll never know. Like, Talk I mean, you know, that, that's, but that's just our, like, yeah, our, just... like, our motor, and that's just who we are. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? We got like, the soundboard working. Not... So, it's, it's the passion behind winning. Yeah, I guess the we'll never know. The passion behind winning yeah. is, is so, you I, know, I want to win. Yeah, and, and they have passion, too. It's just, it's just different. It's just a thought, different it, thought process. Yeah, it's just a different thought process. That's just all. Different thought Who process. was talking about before? I said, uh, Talladega Nights. If you ain't if first, you ain't first mm -hmm. you're fucking last. Yeah, like, like, like me, I don't, like, people can say all oh, steps, steps, steps. Nigga, did you win? Did you hold the trophy up? Were you the last team up at the top? Yeah. No. Everyone else below that lost. Yeah. The whole year, it ain't a waste. Yeah. I'm not saying you wasted time, but you fucking lost. Take the L. Hey, yeah. But just like Tyler Dagan Nice though, though, right? Ricky Bobby wins, and then John Pierre, was that a John Pierre? Mm -hmm. Comes, comes over, whoops his ass. Yep. Just to, yeah. just to humble him. Yeah, yeah, humble. But that's where Giannis is right now. Mm -hmm. you, you was on the top. You got humbled. Now he has to fight back to prove that he is... So it's, it's, more, it's, it's more the same, and like, if you think about how he ended it, right? He was offended. Yes. What he becomes now is we won't know until, we, until the season starts. Yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's an offended man right now. You done, you done pissed off, you pissed him off right there with the little comments, mm -hmm. and then you didn't put him on the defensive team. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, I'm tired of the disrespect. Now we don't know what's about to come. Right, but yeah, accountability and, 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 yeah, and that's my part too. Like, if, if he wins this year, we're not even thinking about that interview. Nope. No. Like, we're, we're not but that's the no. interview. That's the interview. That well, what I'm saying is, if he wins it next year, yeah. everyone needs to go back to the. In, this is the. This is that what pissed him off. This is what pissed him off. Ain't right. no MVP. That right there. That question. Right. And then not putting him on them defensive team. Yeah. But that's what he needed to taste to say. All right. He might come back like this. What's happening? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm breaking brims now. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's real. But it's like Gloria Clemente said, too. Sometimes when you win, you actually lose. And sometimes when you lose, you actually win. Who's that? And sometimes when you win or lose, you actually tie. But sometimes when you tie, you actually win or lose. Gloria. Gloria Clemente. I had yeah. to go look up her I'm last night. She said we're doing sell the rugs down the street. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Billy Ho, oh boo. Uh, oh <laughs> but... no. If I win, I win. If I lose, I won. But when have you tied? Depending on how much I scored. Yeah. Oh, the, only thing right. about, the thing about winning is like when you win like that, like I think people around you need to be a little bit more humble. Like the organization too. They they get a little cocky. They like, get you know what I'm saying? They and they they start doing things to where it's like you start treating people wrong or you start doing little things to where it's not like, like you you're not valuing the certain things that you were before you won. Now that now that you win, now you've got your nuts to the entitled, ground and now you're like, you know, entitled's like so, fuck out of here. It's like yeah. But Joe's nah, like, not really doing like, that, but you look at Mike Malone talking big shit and I respect it. They won. Go ahead and talk your shit. But now you putting that target on your back, that bullseye on your back. No, no, That's no, what you no, 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 the you talking shit that. is not, it's not, it's the, what you do, which, what, what the, what the people are doing behind the scenes. Okay. Right? Yes. Of, like, like the organization, that the head, the headmasters and stuff Here like we go. That. When Braun and them won a championship and they were trying to build and they were trying to, that summer, right? Katie just went to mm -hmm. Golden State and then, you know, Cleveland's like, 
Shit, we the winners. They gotta, they gotta beat us. Yeah. No. There you go right there. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? There you go little, right there. Yeah, it'd be that little thing to me. Uh, we we like, we who they we just are. got KD. Yeah. You gotta get somebody. Nah, we good. We got go LeBron. Get, go, go get Dunleavy. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll see how that works. But that's but that's the thing. You gotta, as I said, your success can't be it. You gotta all I won. If I wanna it's repeat, because right if once I won, someone else is like, oh no, I'm, I'm dethroning you. You yeah. gotta understand that's yeah. coming. You gotta, so you gotta, you gotta up your shit too. Yeah, you gotta defend your. That's why I said a lot of teams don't know how to handle it when they first win one. Mm-hmm. That's how you know if, if they winners or not. Paper yeah. champs. Like, like you know, what I'm saying you just like, oh, you got Paper that one. Champs. It's like, okay, who well, are you talking about? The Bubble Boys. Uh-oh. What? Goddamn paper oh, champs. Man. You ain't no real motherfucking champ. You come back and don't make the damn playoffs. Everyone got hurt. Give a fuck about none of that. Everyone if you don't hurt. recall, they rolled right Everybody into got the hurt. next season. It was a weird season. It was a weird season. LeBron it was a weird season. season. Niggas at home. See you over yeah. here uncomfortable. We was home hey, for the first time. see you over here uncomfortable. They were stuck in the house. They got hurt. Everybody was stuck in the house for like three months. Remember COVID? I didn't know what was going on, man. Smoking Reggie. COVID was lit for me, though. I ain't going front. I had a ball. <laughs> I was in the house walking around naked every day, me and my girl. Me and my girl. I was stuck in the house, me and my girl. <laughs> Bro, pandemic, niggas <laughs> overbuying. In the house, <laughs> overbuying toilet paper. Hey, paper. Was ain't nobody the, coming over. Ain't nobody gonna see us. Nigga, hey, we, ain't work, we ain't work close for five days. Ain't nobody gonna see us. Hey, listen, the funny part is, it's like I was the only one who didn't get affected from COVID because I don't leave my house. <laughs> hey, I was going outside like, man, what the hell am I going for? <laughs> I can see that. I can see you. Like I was getting feel. I'm like, yo, like the ma- what is the mask for? It was like, oh, the COVID. It does not get on your clothes. It don't get on your clothes. So when you get in your car and you take your mask off, it's not on your clothes. I'm not gonna. I'm I'm like, gonna oh, y'all dumb. No, I'm not gonna front. The first time, hey, yo, remember we had to go out and go grocery shopping? How scared was you? Like, like, like you had the mask, the gloves, niggas in there. I was like confused. six feet. I wasn't scared. I was confused. I was like, bro, the okay, full line. To why get the in? fuck is all the toilet tissue gone? Toilet oh, paper and paper towel. And why is all the fucking shit in the pharmaceutical aisle still here? Yeah. These got to be some idiots. Man, yeah. the Febreze. Why well, is the vitamin the C and the, uh, and the hand sanitizer? You had that? You made some. You made the, that the, the funny thing is, I got I got kids, so I was already loaded with stuff. That's what oh, I said. Yeah. I'm, what's, what's going on? Hey, no toilet paper. People had to make some business decisions. Bro, <laughs> no, 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 where no. the toilet tissue go? talking about what the hell going on. Hey, look, I can tell you this. There's one thing that I did think of, right? So... When everybody's talking about all this, I'm looking in the house, like, all right, what do I need? And then I was like, so if they're going to shut the country down, I need to survive. Okay, I got all the... <laughs> He's having this conversation. I was like, I got all the stuff that I really need, entertainment. Uh, ooh, cereal. cereal. I need milk. Damn. Can't hold milk like that. That little a bus. I started looking. Powdered milk. I ordered uh, <clears throat> 20, 20 bags of 10-pound bag. I have... Powdered milk for cereal. Is it good though? Just you just gotta get some. Crackers. I haven't tasted it. You didn't you use any of The milk never ran out. We ain't never got no milk. You gotta get some Mi- crackers. Milk, but in listen, jelly. We ain't never got no milk. That's what I said. But that's what I thought. I thought about all the shit because I got. I had hundreds of boxes of cereal. You put yeah, some yeah, water in that about, shit, Gil. Oh, you put can some water in that damn. I, shit. I got bags, ten pound bags <laughs> of powdered milk. You still the, got. You still yes, got the powdered milk. The, we never ran out of milk. So I was fine. <laughs> Did you ever taste the powdered milk? No. Never. Okay. And we never ran out of milk, so I never got to use it. Little one gonna ask for the powdered milk now. But Can you I got get a the powdered milk? Like, what's powdered milk? Oh. All right, but let's get back to this uh, Giannis Joker conversation. So, based on this season, I think it's fair to say Joker's currently the best player on the planet. Generational playoff performance, won his first chip finals MVP. Based on what we saw this playoffs, gotta ask y'all, would you rather build your franchise around a healthy Giannis or a healthy Joker? Don't ask me. You already know where I'm going. Uh, I mean, you could. You have to build it around Jokic. Jokic. Easy. So Giannis, the number two now. Yeah. Okay. To build it around. Yeah. I, I, I mean, the, 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 I'm building around the person who has the most attributes. Yeah. 100%. Right. You know, so I can I can bring in a bunch of Giannis's and still survive. Where, where are you going to find a bunch of Giannis? Right. And what I'm saying right. is I can, a bunch of athletes. Yeah, okay. athletic. Like I can, you know, long, athletic bigs. They, they all play a part yeah. when Jokic can shoot, pass, mid-range, post oh, up. Yeah. He can see like he's unselfish. So I have, I have, I don't need to build these, you know, like, oh, if I got Steph, now I got to get this type of guard. And if I have a big man, I can't get this type of big man. You know, playing those type of games with Jokic, I can say, all right, 
shit, uh, and give me a shooter, give me a dive person, and from that, I don't give a fuck who you give me, he'll figure it out. I think with, with, with Joker, you could just formulate any kind of offense. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? The scheme, any kind of system that he can pass, he can post. You know what I'm saying? He can bring it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He could do so much for Giannis. He's a little bit more limited in the sense where if you're not playing fast pace, the shit we were saying yesterday, like if he's not getting the ball to the to the rim all the time, it's going to be more difficult. You got to depend on the other players. Like, like Rudy Gobert, right? If Rudy Goldberg was over in, in, in Bucks, Giannis is in trouble. Why? Because now you got both bigs sitting down there. And they both not like yeah, offensive Rudy threats. trash. But he's, where is he at? Versus where, he just where Lopez. He in the way. Where Lopez sits. Yeah, Lopez, Lopez sits at out. the three. Yeah, he shoots So his three. man got to follow him. Yeah. Right now, I just sit, come on that minute. Hey, well, throw it that's, up. That's, Rudy, that's, throw that's it Goldberg up. In, the do, in the dunker spot yep. where ain't no room down there. Well, it's clouded. Rudy can watch out. He's a reason for COVID. <laughs> <laughs> and, and had He's the reason you was dancing around in your goddamn living room, nigga. You supposed to be praising that nigga. <laughs> but when you go back and look at that clip of him touching, it's like, man, man bro, that is because he didn't know it was that serious. That's why. How <laughs> ominous of, of a moment that was. That's a to good like ass fast forward to on, like games man. getting canceled, niggas evacuating the arena. Yeah, yeah, he didn't know it was Donovan that Mitchell had to be quarantined. Remember, yeah. remember, everybody thought Donovan Mitchell was gonna die. Yeah, and he was like, oh, man, it might be over. <laughs> niggas was scared. Everybody was scared. So I've got a hypothetical for y'all. How would uh, the finals have played out if it was a healthy Bucks squad versus a healthy Nuggets squad? You already said that Bucks Nuggets is the watch up to max next year if they're healthy. If the Bucks would have been healthy this year, not gotten eliminated by the Heat, it's a big if and buts or cookie and nuts type of question. But Bucks in seven. I think that's going seven because I think it's just down the line, like 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 everybody. That's a good match. Like, like Denver it's, it's, it's a good six. match. I, I like Denver. No but way in Drew, hell Denver is beating Milwaukee in six. I see Drew locking six. up Murray, though. Huh? No. I see Drew locking up Murray. No. I see Drew and Murray going at it. Like, 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 I think it's just a lot of good matchups. No, because Drew has to deal with all pick and rolls. He don't okay. pick and roll. But look, Drew know how to get under and over that shit. Drew's a good defense. He, he's a good Drew can, How many pick and rolls do they do? A lot. Just like Jimmy. Ain't no different with Jimmy. But Who's a better but defender Milwaukee player? Got better, they got better adjustments defensively Hell than yeah. anybody else. They can Hell literally yeah. switch that shit. Hell yeah. They can, all of the guards can play so on the perimeter Drew, and switch so that shit. Do you know Drew is smaller than uh, Jimmy Butler, right? A lot smaller. So he switches on the Joker. That's just... No, I'm saying on the backside beyond that. Beyond we don't even have to switch, switch it, though. We don't even have to. We, yeah. First of all, Drew's getting through, yes. and then Brooke is getting right back. Yes. So we're fine with that. Yes. Man, and Giannis right. can move a lot more. And who's guarding Giannis? 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 Aaron, Gordon? Uh, Aaron Gordon? <laughs> Good luck. Come yeah. on, man. Good luck. It's a different matchup. Good luck, light scan. I got, I got, big, I got bigs at the rim. I mean, it, 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 it is going to be <laughs> it, it is going to be tougher, but it's six. We knew it's and improved. I like it. I mean, it's, it's, it's two light skins tougher, out there against series. Giannis and, and Chris Middleton. Man, you know what time it is. We ain't letting no light skins come in there. Light skins. Yeah, I like Chris they, over oh, MPJ. Oh, I like Chris over MPJ, too. Yeah, they did Yeah, y'all light skins. But y'all just lost to a YMCA team, OK? You, Giannis was hurt. I know, but I'm stop just stop giving him excuses. No, 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 no. But but the rest of the team Me. lost us. Some, the rest Giannis of the team stop giving him no, no, no. excuses. Giannis back was hurt. No, no, no. Giannis is out. But the rest wait. of the, I can't so wait for next year. But the rest of the team, but the rest of the team lost to a YMCA team. The rest, the of, rest of the Bucks. And Giannis Our played how many games? Down. That's, That's cool. like how many games you, did he play? Who did you? Who was you guarding? Who was you guarding? Yeah, who was he guarding? Jimmy. I mean, he had to guard every. He had to guard every fucking every game. Got torched. He had to guard everybody. Torched. You asking this guy to guard everybody? He said forty on your head. You asking this guy to guard? That's not even who he's supposed to guard. If yeah, Giannis it is, is out there, cause he's the best defensive player out so there. He's the best Giannis defensive Giannis player. Defensive How he gonna stop Murray? Who? How he gonna stop Murray? That's an easier. That's an easier matchup. It's a point guard. It's an easier matchup. It's, it's an easier matchup, but Jimmy couldn't do it. It's an easier matchup than Jimmy. Cause Murray play around this. You stuff. might want. We might want to just wait the next year. Though. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait till next year. I'm talking my shit next year. Watch. My Detroit, my Detroit Pistons gonna be on fire. Who? Detroit Pistons. Miami Heat. Go. Dame Lillard. That's fine. Going back, back to back, mm -hmm. back. Uh, not, not even now. I mean, but you look at the Heat. Dame, Bill. If they could pull off one of these moves, even Harden, as we've talked about, even though Heat fans are not rolling. Harden might make the most interest because he's a free agent and they can they can maneuver a little better. But if they can get one of those three, I heard Milwaukee might get Bill. I saw I saw it on my Twitter. Ooh. Said that yesterday yeah. too. Bill, Milwaukee, Milwaukee, I think in Miami yep. are now the Bill and Milwaukee. Yep, I heard Bill in Milwaukee. When they get rid of Middleton, I mean, 
Same player. You got a player on the Same player as Dunker. I said that yesterday. Bill and that, Milwaukee. I don't have a problem with Bill. I just have a problem with the trade clause. But, you know, Bill, Bill and Milwaukee, let's go. Middleton's got a $40.4 million player option. I would have to imagine that he... Uh, him and Grayson Allen can go. Fuck that. Keep them both. Keep Bill and Middleton. No, you can't do you can't. that. You can't do that. How are you going to do it? Who are you giving up? Who are you giving do up? Do you not know you have to give up somebody? You said Brooke? Hell no. Hell no. We can't give up Brooke. Then you, then you make Brooke Giannis is getting better and better every year. Then you, you make get, Giannis a get rid of Brooke, Portis, and Allen. I'm not giving Ooh. up. All the bigs? There's no way in hell mm. Milwaukee's you giving up Bobby up. Portis. Bobby Portis is a fan favorite. You can't There's give no way in hell. Brooke Lopez is a free agent. Middleton's got a player option. Listen, the Milwaukee fans are gonna be up there like, what y'all doing? We got Bradley Bill, that's what we doing. No, we can get cri- rid of Chris Middleton, Grayson Allen, and a first round pick. Yeah, I'll do that. And I get to keep but all But Middleton my gotta agree to it. Why? Because he got a player option. So unless he unless he uh takes the option. I mean shit. I mean, yeah, fuck I mean what are you talking about? I mean shit. I mean <laughs> I'm just saying we, 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 we got becomes a free agent, he can do what he wants. Drew, Bill, Middleton, and Giannis. No. Oh yeah. No. No, no Middleton. No. Where's Middleton? No, no, it's no, too no, small. No, no, it's Drew, no, Bill. No, it's Giannis Drew has to Bill. play the five now. He's six, seven, six, eight. No, it's Drew, Bill, Giannis. You're playing small. You can't play small. Bobby, Bo- it's Drew, um, Bill, Giannis. I'm putting Giannis at the three. Um, Bobby. Bobby and uh, Brooke. We, we right back. Big as hell. We right back. And Sim sign me. So I get in shape. He want to go it. small. I come out yes, there play. You're going to get the You're going to get the You're going to get the You're going to get I still got it. Brandon, do you still now have him? Now he has to. See how I'm dressed? That's why they was got getting Lopez off the bench because he was playing big in the second unit. He was playing small ball in the second unit. They played small early, played small in the second unit. That's how they stayed in, in the front. Yeah, Joker going to whoop that ass. They tried Whenever to they went big is when they, they lost. I might not be here now. I might be on the Bucks team. Come <laughs> back. You, you, leave, <laughs> you leave in the <laughs> arena? <laughs> I'm about to start working out right now. I got yeah, and, and every I Tuesday and Thursday, I'm going to call in. Yeah. Take a roll. I got y'all. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about my, uh, Joker. Joker's kind of become a fan favorite for really not giving a fuck. Obviously, after they won the championship, he was pissed off the parade was going to be on Thursday. Parade was today. Did anybody give a fuck? No. You know, watch yeah, it. What was your yeah. favorite part of the... KCP. You see my man KCP had the beers like me and your dad. Wait, they already Did not had watch. it? Apparently. Today. I was, today. They had it today. Apparently, they had the parade. What the fuck do you mean today? What is this? You we started at 1130. It was parade day, Gil. I know. What time the, was the parade? You didn't get the Great memo, question. Gil. Everybody got the ping in the, in the, in the table. You don't be on sweater, huh? We, we started this show at 11.30. They're, uh, mountain time or whatever. Yeah, it's like one, one hour up. So it's like... One hour. Know. So that means 12.30? What went Early then, morning. Then I didn't know the, what they do, the parade at 9 o'clock? Yeah. 8 you, o'clock? You know what time Yeah, the parade kind of started a little early. Time. Yeah. Same Gil, time they do the Chris Hill parade. The untrained eye. Bro, five... 30 is parade time. No. Everybody off work. The city jam. White people get up early. Uh, nah, man. everybody. I'm, I, listen, I'm throwing a parade. I want every available body but don't to you, be there. That the means after nugget. work. I'm not everybody going to work. Half the city at work. You got 75 people downtown. No, huh. no, no. The shitty shutting down. No, it did. Let's do this. It oh, shut it down, it but everybody's calling in six. You're basically giving them a day no. off of work. No. 5.30. The I'm afraid of Milwaukee was crazy. You used to see me and your dad. When did it happen? When I saw him shirtless, I was Two like, days cool. after. What time? About, I want to say around, at least like we had to show up around at least like nine. Nine at morning. night? No, 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 nine in the morning. Can you do it? In- <laughs> early parade, Gil. It's early because, parade. Because you got to go at through least the city, at right? So you got to yes. go through the city, and then they got to say they speech, and then you out there. That should take about Bucks three hours. Bucks parade started at 11 a.m. Oh, 11 a.m. Bucks parade started at 11 a.m. Yeah, so we had to show up at like nine. I saw Brandon shirtless, my dad got shirtless. What time and I was like, LA. So 11 over there, so what time is it? 8 over here? So half of us are just waking up, so we don't get to see that dumb shit. That's good. Would, would, would you have watched it if it was at 5? We had other things to do. We had a show to give the people. That's what, that's what I'm saying. It was 75,000 people out there. 75,000. That's a lot. I mean, that's the trash. whole. 75,000? Huh? Trash. Have you seen 50,000 people like in. How much Coachella? How many people go to Coachella? Close you, to 100. Yep. Huh? There you go. I mean, I could be ah. wrong. I mean, but Coachella is like three or four days. This yeah. is one day. Yeah. This is one day. Coachella like a whole week. 75,000 yeah, hey. a lot of people, man. Hey. Yeah, it is a lot of people. A lot of people. Not if Coachella's 100. If y'all start doing that it's shit. It's a whole week. If y'all do it after week. work when everybody off work, I guarantee you, how many people in the city? Two, three million? My, Boom! 500,000. Hey, not, not even a quarter of them people going to be here because of the traffic. Thank exactly. You. you forced them 
to, to be, be a part in, of the parade because be it's a traffic jam. They can't go nowhere. Half of the people going to be but, in listen, traffic. Milwaukee don't even have freeways. Listen, 530. Okay. They got that one little yeah, they got like one freeway. LA, Los <laughs> Angeles, we're going to do our parade at 530 on the full five. <laughs> Everybody forced to be part of this shit. Everybody getting <laughs> off. Just stop me. Hey, you forced, so, God damn it. Till 12, it's going to be midnight. I'm going to be so mad. Like, Hell I'm yeah. trying to get home. Oh. Turn I'm, turn I'm, turn I'm, turn I'm, I'm trying to get home. He no mad. I'm like, turn, turn. <laughs> Tear me up. You forced, God damn it, this point. <laughs> From the freeway, that shit gonna look god. I'm like LA riots out there. Motherfuckers no, be sure. fighting, uh, shooting. What? If you don't move this car out the goddamn way, the LA riots was turned up. <laughs> mm-hmm. That shit was. We got a free TV. <laughs> we got a free TV. <laughs> TV. I got to the crib and it was, was a TV. I was three it was years a big old. ass TV in there. Where did we get this from? I was three years old. Shut up, boy. Hey, that <laughs> shit was wild. But so Joker did an interview with Malika Andrews, and he had this to say: basketball. I don't wait for it to bring it up. Booyah. See, I, my folks be on it. Basketball is not the main thing in my life. It's something that I'm good at. Now, other players have said something similar to this and been criticized for it. Joker's been this lovable guy now for his seemingly ability to not give a fuck about anything. But what are your thoughts on Joker's views on basketball? I mean, he, he's good at it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what do you want him to say? Um, he's telling you his truth. If you don't like his truth, that's, that's your problem. I mean, I just feel like, I mean, he's from a different country. Like, he's been playing ball professionally forever. So it's like, they're, like, when they come over here, yeah, their dream is to win a championship. But he probably got other things in his life. That doesn't mean, that doesn't make him, that, that doesn't mean he doesn't love the game. Obviously, he's working hard because he's, one of, he's the, one of the best players in the world. So he just have a different way of not putting so much pressure on himself, I think. I, I think that's the biggest thing. He says he does this because he doesn't want to put so much pressure. Mm-hmm. And it's working in his favor. Mm-hmm. Because right now, everybody's trying to get clickbait and trying to say the right, all these things. And it's like, he's just like, yeah, man, I won. Go back to my country, you know, chill. Race put my horses. Horses, horses like, like a horse know, race the on trophies, Sunday. Put the trophies on the thing. And, you know, I'm, I'm cooling. I'll be back. I'll be ready in, in what, three months. Mm-hmm. I'll be coming right, right back and ready. I think just because it's his first championship, I just think he be, he's kind of capping like the excitement. Nah, you just be because a, it's the first championship, even for Europeans, when they win their first championship, there's a lot of just enthusiasm around the accomplishment. But for, for what I'm getting, I'm just getting that. Uh, I'm good at this. I got other things that, like, after the second championship, I can hear that. After the third championship, I'm hearing. That's what I'm saying. But that's for us. From us. I'm hearing that second, third. Mm-hmm. First championship is this is, what we, this is what we've been trying to do. We're trying to win this. Yeah. But I don't hear that from him. So it's just like. It's a conflict for me. It's just like, if there's something more important than this, mm-hmm. so be it. But what is the messaging that we're giving to the next generation? You think, you think if, you think if that owner would have had say about thirty or fifty uh, Serbians like out there like cheering and, and singing, you think he'd be more a little bit more, a little bit more like no. You know? I, I, I think so because it's like you just you're not hearing those 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 songs and you know you go overseas is, and play like they have their chance and but with his grew, people with his but the people. problem yeah, you know what I'm saying with his people but the problem is we grew up we grew up dreaming about Michael Jordan and being this yeah crying with the you know the crying with the, we've yeah. seen it their dream wasn't that just to get here his brothers us. have you noticed his, his brothers, brothers yeah yeah were crying yeah yeah. Because they're the ones who came to America to try to play sports in high school, in college, okay. and all that stuff. Okay. Right. So they they understand it because they had that, and he's he's not like getting drafted was like, eh. Hey. But was well, he I drafted, drafted, like second Where round? am I going? Yes. Well, yeah, so like his brother, call, his brother called him, said, "Hey, you you made it to the NBA." Oh, okay. That's a big <laughs> accomplishment for for us. For them, yeah. not him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's already the man where he's at. Right? You know, this is like, I have two brothers who didn't make it to the NBA. That's not our dream. Yeah. Our dream is just to be basketball players. That's what I am. And then I put my name in a draft. And if I get drafted, I get drafted. That was his attitude. So his brother is telling him, hey, what are you doing? You got drafted. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it? Yeah. yeah. So this is their dream, not his. It's their dream. He's just great. Like, I come over here. I'm focusing on the sport. Soon as I'm done, I get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. Like it's just like when we, if we won a championship in China. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, it's a part I mean, of well, my resume. Know. I'm it's a part, part of my resume. Minute, though, it yeah. Yeah. But I'm just saying. Yeah. KTV. But yeah. I'm just saying. You see how fast they're trying to. We're, we're trying to get out of there, though. So it's like. KTV, whatever. KTV. Remember the uh, little. Uh, yeah. Little, uh, <laughs> with the mic, and then you had the girls come in and have all your sunflower seeds and, <laughs> and drinks and stuff. And so, you're picking a girl, and you be like, "Yo, dance." Thank you. And you do karaoke. <laughs> Y'all are wild. No, that's just, you know, it's off the chain over there. In time. <laughs> For sure. So I don't think, I don't take this as Joker saying he don't love basketball. He just, you know, I, I love basketball. I can love a lot of things, have other interests. But why are we, you know, we love it when Joker does it. But when American players say similar things, oh, he doesn't because, care. Or he, you know, he, he's, not focused, he's not focused. No, it is the same. No, they, they both don't care. No, because it's ingrained. Yeah. We, we've been ingrained for a certain thing, yep. Yep. right? Uh -huh. And that's why we have this thing of, we will sacrifice money to help a team win a championship instead of saying, wait, hold on. Why am I, sac isn't this your job? This is your business. Like if, think about, a, think about your, your, your boss coming to you at your job. He said, hey, yeah, I wanna give you a raise. I do, and I know you want the, the extra 50,000, but look, if you take a $10,000 extra raise, I can give three other people to help build the company, everyone will say, fuck no. I'm not gonna take, I don't even like these three people right here. Yeah. Right, you giving them my, my what's the name to build? No, everybody will say no. But as an athlete, we have been trained to believe in team, team taking things, you know, like, okay, I supposed to, you know, like what Shaq said, okay, you want me to do Five year one hundred versus four year one twenty five. Okay, for the better of the team. When it's like, this is your fucking. You're the billionaire. You figure this shit out. Like I just have to do me. I played. I balled. This is what it says I'm worth. Okay, that's what I'm worth. He balled. He wants what he wants. You ball. Like our job is not. A, oh yeah, we we still want to play together. I'm gonna take fifty million dollars. Yeah. Like, that's. But we we do it. I did it. But we. That's what I'm saying. We do it when no other job would do that for. The people in there, in there, in that office. Well, is that? I mean, because they hold the whole legacy thing over your head. But the problem becomes if you, if you take that bread and they can't sign these other guys, and the team's not they, successful, but it's your fault. Why can't they sign any other guys? Because they're still thinking about their profit. Yeah. What? Well, I want my profit too. Yeah. But that's they can't do that to the foreigners. They can't put that on the foreigners. Foreigners, I've been a, I've been a professional since 11 years old. I didn't heard this. Not that ass. What are you talking real. about? Since I've been they're not falling for that shit either. Yeah, I've been a they're not nah. falling for that shit. They got that take they this pay cut. Mm -hmm. Take this fucking agents. pay cut for, like they asking Dw uh, Dwight Howard, take 65% pay cut. Yeah, play yeah I gotta go back to my country, then I'm out. <laughs> 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 I go back to my country, then I'm out. That's it's a cheaper. wild thing that's not really talked about from the fan perspective because all they care about is records, championship trophies, all that type of shit, but the inner workings of a team. And when they come to guys like yourselves, like, oh, take less bread to help us make more money. No. Hey, you take less to help me make more, and we can have the successful franchise. Hey, I can get the seven billion dollar valuation. Sounds. Think yeah. about how that shit sounds. But, take a pay cut so we can make more money. Okay. But the, the flip side of it, you don't do it. The team's gonna suck, and we're just gonna blame you for it. I'm and not blaming. Get rid of you. I'm not blaming ownership. Yeah, the team's gonna suck, but I still get to make my profit. Yeah, but, but then yeah, you you're, you're looked at as a greedy asshole instead of the reality when it's not. Yeah. Prima Donna. This shit is wild. That's what I said. Let me ask you a question. Uh huh. If if. If, if a team overseas asked your son to come play at the age of 16, right, mm -hmm. would you let him go? Like, say if he was, like, one of the top, like, one of the top teams or, or a team that plays against the top teams at 16. And they, yep. said, and they said, yo, he's going to play. Like, okay. Out. Because him playing professional against adults um, is like throwing him in the ocean. He has to learn how to swim today. Okay. Right, this ain't no kiddie pool no more. You have to swim today. That means in the next two years, when you get inserted back to America, at 18, you're gonna be far more better than the 18 year olds who was playing against fucking 16 and 15 year olds. So yes, because right there, he is the youngest, learning everything adults are learning. It's like it's yeah. like yeah. it's like my two sons. At 11, the younger one is far more better. Mm -hmm. Because he's learning what I'm teaching my son right now. The 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 younger one is learning the same thing. Mm. Yeah, he can't go up there and dunk and all that. But when it comes to the dribbling, all he's learning at 11. He didn't have the skill at 11. Right. right. You know what I mean? So it's like put him over there. Two years go, do your thing. Mm. I think for sure. So now it's the moment of truth. The moment you've been waiting, hating, or debating for. 
We teased this earlier in the week, but it's time for y'all to drop y'all top five point guards. We can't do top ten. We don't got the time. Time constraints. Our last show. We got to pop these bottles. We got to get into this lovely Gills Arena. No, I'm taking cookie home. cake. No, I'm taking it home. Mm-hmm. I'm taking it home. I'm leave that right there. <laughs> You taking the whole thing? You just what you gonna do? Just let it hey, get ashy? Don't say you taking the cookie from Cookie Monster here, nigga. Hey, that's what that, that's <laughs> the not, problem. Y'all always. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm at least taking. Not, I'm, I'm taking. I'm already it. said. I'm, already I'm taking something to balloons or something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I put in my work for two, four months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we getting our slice of cookies. We getting our slice of cookies. Yeah, we getting something. <laughs> Y'all know I love cookies, but time for your top five point guard list. So, Brandon, we're gonna start with yourself. We'll post it on the screen. Give us your top five point guards. Steph Curry, Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas, John Stockton, J. Kidd. Mm. Um, everybody on this list has been to the finals. Whether they won or lost, John Stockton got records that won't ever be broke. J. Kidd, I just think the mastermind of a point guard. Uh, Isaiah Thomas, you know, let it be known. Magic. Let it know. be known. You know what Magic did, Showtime, and then Steph Curry changed the game. So I don't know who's beating that, but you know, good luck. Steph ain't no real point guard, man. Shit, shit. He bring the ball up. He brings the ball up. Everybody on the team bring the ball up. He brings the ball up. Draymond bring the ball up. Now, now he does. Oh god. Now, now he does. But but in in that heyday when it was time to go get Monte it. Monte Ellis brought the ball up. Monte Ellis a two. They both twos. Monte then we say we wasn't. Monte Ellis a two because I was running the one. Then we say we wasn't gonna put hybrid guards in him. Who said that? We all three said that because he said if you put Magic in, he gonna have to put LeBron in. That's what he said. Well, then yeah. if we put LeBron in, we gotta put Dame and all the other Dame power two hybrids. See, my other five is good too, though. But they took that off. You know, I had I had I had some West Coast, you know, some LA legends up in there in, in my other five, but they didn't want to put that. So we had to whittle it down. I know top five. Mm-hmm. That's all right. Solid. Who's right, top five is next? All right, let's move on. So, Rashad, we got your top five. If you want to read the list of the people at home. J. Kidd, Zeke. Let it be known. C.P., Steve, and John. Yeah, I like all of them. Um, I left the, the hybrid guards out, the big guards. These are all guards under 6'5", six, 6'4", six, pure playma- playmaking, team-running point guards. And I'm fucking with... Uh, Steve Nash and John Stockton is my white boy. So my white boys is in so there. Magic wasn't a point guard. Not to me. Oh, based on shit. criteria. Magic wasn't a point guard. Not to me. <laughs> the team is fifty percent white. If we include Jake, <laughs> two and a half. <laughs> two and a half. Two and a half. Right. Yeah, two and a half. <laughs> you know we're gonna get read up. So, but you said no magic. Yeah, Thought man. process behind that. Just because he's a, it's like, like Gil's criteria was a big guard, Norm Nixon, and then was, was the real point guards, but then they let Magic bring it up, and he gave you all the assists, and okay, then he ain't no goddamn point guard. We got to get Magic on this show. He ain't no point guard if that's the case. Then, like he said, with LeBron, LeBron bring the ball up, he averaged most assists on his team, he the point guard. No, he not. He the hybrid. So Zeke, we wouldn't consider Zeke a hybrid or Chris Paul a hybrid at the time for averaging twenty. Uh uh-uh. uh, because right. they're not offensive-minded point guards. They average twenty, but they're not offensive-minded point guards. They're system players that they get their points in the system throughout the offense. Let it Same be known. with Steve Nash. I mean, why why can't we use a, a jersey shot of Steve Nash? We had to use him as a drunk <laughs> dog, man. I'm just looking at it. No disrespect, underdog fantasy. We appreciate y'all. Let's see. Good. Download the app. Promo code Gil's Arena. Mine? So let, let's look at Gilbert, your top five points. See, I told you. I knew he would do it. Shoo, he, couldn't shoo. Help, he couldn't help himself. He couldn't help himself. I got you want to read it off to the people who are visually impaired? I got Chris Paul at the bottom, five. The fact that y'all got Chris Paul in there is fucking crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> explain. I, I, <laughs> explain. 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 I can explain. Hold He's on. He's better than John Stockton? Chris um, Paul, yeah, Chris Paul better than John Stockton? Uh, I, as a I'm point, asking you. As a point guard? Hold, hold on. Yes. Hold, yes. Hold on. Let me, let me try it. So John Stockton, I just, just in case you tried this shit, John Stockton averaged 13 and 10.5 assists. He was a 10-time All-Star, 9-time assist champ, 11-time All-NBA player, 2-time yep. we'll record- steals champs, 5-time yep. uh, All-Defense, yep. All-Star MVP, yep. 19,000 points, yep. over 15,000 yep. uh, assists. Yep. Now, 
Chris Paul, 18,000 points. I mean, eight, uh, 18, average 18, 9.5, 12 time All Star, six times steals champ, five times assist champ, 11 time All NBA, nine time All Defensive, uh, all defensive Team, All Star MVP, Rookie of the Year. He has 21,000 points and 11,500 assists. What, so what? What that mean? And been to the finals once and lost. But we're talking about, we're, talking what, about what, the, we're not talking about his finals appearance. We're talking about the top five. Man, I mean, how do you, smoking, how do you, smoking some how do you, how do you, how do you weigh your defense? Yes. I mean, the game changed. John I mean, Stockton. shit. I'm, okay, imagine John, John Stockton, Stockton and Carl Malone playing in this era. I mean, I what know. the fuck are know. we talking about? The pa- we're talking about, huh. about Chris Paul. He got steals. No, 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 He got no. steals Brandon. and assists and a record that Did I never. Chris Paul yeah, has Carl Malone to throw the ball to. Nope. I don't give a fuck who he has. Nope. But you about. should. Get it done. Reason. Get that's it done. That's not my giving. fault. I got drafted there. But oh, that's, that's the reason fault. you're giving it to John that's Stockton. Man, Your you're reason you're giving it to John Stockton because he's passing. You had a whole team with the Clippers and couldn't get over the hump. You had a whole team. So many niggas was coming through there. Jamal Hall of Famer. John Stockton never got Hall of Famer. He got Hall of Famer. John Stockton got Hall of Famers. Who? Chris Clippers. What are the Hall of Famers? What are the Hall of Famers? I don't know. Shit, ain't. Uh, Doc no, Rivers. No. There it is. Man, Hall of Fame coach. Doc Rivers. He, I, I, I said he couldn't get over hey, the hump. He didn't pass it to Doc Rivers. And you said he couldn't Should get I? over the hump. I mean, that man passed. John many Stockton points? never got over the hump either. Who? John Stockton Everybody never got over the hump. Everybody in the 90s ran into one nigga. Who? Hmm? But Everybody in the 90s ran into one person. The same person. answer is not get over the hump. Everybody in the 90s ran into one person. Hey, man. Everybody got Robinson. Then I got Curry. Then I got Magic. Then I got LeBron. Chris Paul better than J. Kidd? Damn, y'all. Damn. What oh, I got J. Kidd right here. No, he ain't top five. J. Kidd had 12 points, 8 assists, 10-time All-Star, 5-time steel champ, 6-time All-NBA champ. So Chris Paul better Roy, than... Roy, when he was a champ, he was just a, a nigga on the team. No, 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 do not do that. He was not just a no nigga yes, on the he team. Was. Do he was. Do not... First of all, what? He okay, valuable resource. He, hit co- he hits big threes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all got Jay Kidd. Hold on, hold on. Oh. During the championship, all right, let's do this. he was in the end of his career. All right, let's do this. Let's put points on championships. No, no Isaiah Thomas. Hold on. If you do, if we do, let's do points on championships. If you are the man when you won the championship, that's 10 points. If you was the, the, the person next to the man, you get five points, right? If you are one of the other guys, you get one point. Jason Kidd gets one point for his championship. Who was the most important pieces? Dirt. Next. J. Kidd. No. J. J. Kidd. Jason Terry, Barrera, Jason Kidd. No, J. Kidd. I got him. I'm running this shit. He didn't even play the last last five minutes of the the game. J. Kidd's mine? He was never in the game in the last five minutes. It was Barrera and Jason Terry. They didn't play the finals. They didn't play that man. No, we're talking about the we didn't they didn't play that man. All right. And then uh, and then you want to talk about who? Isaiah Thomas? Isaiah Thomas. First of all, for, for, overrated. Let it, who, mm. I, let it be known, Zeke. Mm. Let it be known, Zeke. Overrated? Let it be known, Zeke. Let it be known, okay. Zeke. Y'all got Zeke. Oh, all, hey, 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 hey. 12 what? time All-Star. Here, you this, statistically overrated? Or are you 12, talking about 12 time Zeke. All-Star? You, you, you was just right. a Detroit fan. You, talk, you know you can't I'm go there. I'm a he Detroit was. Pistons no, no, fan. No, you cannot talk go there and talk about Zeke like that. You cannot go to Detroit talking about Zeke. Talk about it. No. 12 time All-Star. Right? That means you're an all-star. You're a top 24 player, right? You're a five-time all-NBA player. Meaning you wasn't top 15, but five times in the NBA. They didn't like my attitude. They didn't like my attitude. I had an attitude. Michael Jordan didn't like me. No, they don't have Michael Jordan didn't like but, me. But, but See, you can make the all-star exactly. game. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Michael Jordan ain't got nothing to do with you being all-NBA. Because the fans, all the fans vote. They ain't like No, me. fans vote for all-star. My attitude. My attitude. Your they play like votes you as all-NBA. He was the only a five time. So most all stars like Chris Paul, you're eleven time, eleven going. time. Keep going, keep going. Keep eleven going. time, eleven time. Keep going. Y'all going with the stay phone. Eleven. Time. This is like like boy. like Jason like uh keep going like Ray team. Allen like Ray Allen right? You got eleven time all star, two time All NBA. That means you were only top fifteen two times in your career. You that means you're not a dominant person. You said Zeke is overrated. So keep going. Five times. But that's five times. two teams at that point. Y'all going with Clifford. Huh? Y'all going two with teams. Clifford. Two teams. It's still five times. Farm guy. I'm saying two Ain't NBA teams at that point. When John Hold Stockton on, did it, I'm John glad Stockton was last show. 11. John Stockton is a 10 time All Star. You said Listen to what I'm saying. Overrated. Listen to what I'm saying. 10 time All Star. Overrated. You're a Detroit Pistons fan. 10 time All Star. In the same era, 10 time All Star, 
but an 11 time all NBA player. That means he didn't get voted by the fans, but still made the all NBA team 11 times. 12 and 5, 10 and 11. Like, what are we talking about? We're Paul talking about Chris Paul's Zeke not even being better. overrated. Chris Paul's How not even better overrated? than Russell Westbrook. Who? And, and, and James Harden. Get the fuck out of here. Shit, no. Nah, you're crazy as hell. Yeah, all right. You're yeah, crazy as hell. Yeah, all right. Overrated, though. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. To, to be a top three? Where? What did you do? He won two championships. Okay, what did he do? He won two championships. What did he do? He led the team. No, he did not lead. He led him once. Okay. He was a finals MVP one okay. time. Don't do more than the second. Okay. He didn't lead the one? team. One? Okay. What? There's two, right? Yo, bro, he didn't lead final, the team. Fi- who was the best player on the team? Oh, who was the main guy? Wow. Joe Dumars, right? No. No, Isaiah what Thomas. Are you, what are you trying not to get in the NBA? He's trying to get in the NBA. The stats show it. Ain't the no stats. Stat. This is stat. not getting. He's the leader. I am not guessing. He's a, Fuck the that's stat. like saying Andre Iguodala. I am not Iguodala. guessing here. It's like you saying Andre Iguodala the was the man I am that not won guessing. for the- I am not guessing on what he did. He was a 12-time All-Star. Top 24. But when it came down to the top 15 players, I mean, he he only like, made it five times. You said he's How overrated. How can you? If you, you, you said he's in. overrated. It was, NBA? it was only two teams at that point. Okay, all you, NBA. You said he was overrated. All NBA. That means, that means there's two other players that was beating him out. There was two point guards beating him out every year. he's overrated. What? To be top three, but you have John Stockton, top two, but he was a top ten player. That, John, that makes it even worse. That means Zeke wasn't a top ten player to oh, but players, only five to times. the players. That's Zeke didn't to the players. The only five times. To the players. So five all the players so agree. Zeke didn't five times. Dig ride the lead. Think about right. what I'm saying. He didn't dig ride. Five times. You, we're, we're talking about. We're talking he, about was, era. he was left off the who fucking the dream point? team because he the... didn't shake a nigga's hand. And you're talking about all means, NBA teams. You, you know what, what the fuck are we talking about, bro? We left him NBA. off a legendary team because he didn't shake a nigga's hand. That's championship. So how many NBA all NBA teams were he left off because he didn't shake the nigga's hand? That was after. It don't matter. After he's still being, that was in the nineties. He still is. He not, played in the eighties. Zeke is Zeke. He played in the eighties. Zeke is Zeke. the handshake is in the nineties. That means that means Bird. That means Magic and John Stockton was in front of this man the whole time. So when the careers is over with, how the fuck do you put him in front of John Stockton? How? By putting him in front of John Stockton. Just that easy. <laughs> just you see you how it. I just did just that? You did, but you did, did it. Just see how I did it? was so easy. It was like, then, how do you how? Then, like this. And then Curry. In front? Then you have Curry oh, in nigga. front of Magic. <laughs> can't. There, there can't. That, but that's what I'm saying. You're putting a third person in front of someone second. You can't do it. No. That's, that's, that's what you can't do. I'm putting someone I believe is a better point guard in front of the person. How? What, what shows it? Show me the stats. Where? It's not going to be 15,000. You know, it's not, it's not going to be played, in the stats. He played for stats. There's nothing that says it. There's nowhere in the NBA that says it. Five-time all defense. Zeke is not even on the all defense. Zeke There's no way five time all defense zeke is not even on the all defense team. There's no accomplishment that Zeke has in front of John Stockton or Two championships. Team. Oh, my gosh. Team. You're not on an all-defensive team. That means the white boy is better defensive player than this you. This is the goal. And you are a defensive hey, team. Let's move the goal. You're post. a defensive team, and you're not all Here, defense. Take this goal post. Take this. We're going to move the goal You post. know why Zeke ain't in there? Because he wasn't falling around. Like, you know how, like, everybody be falling around. Who was around the best defensive like, team like, in, the in the 80s and 90s? Falling around, like, in the beginning of the 80s and the 90s. Uh, who was the best uh, defensive team? Uh, like, we talk about who? Detroit Pistons. So you're saying John Stockton is better than Zeke. And he's not. He didn't than, make one defensive you're team. You're saying John Stockton is better than Zeke. Defense? Hell yeah! No, I'm not just five times. Better. I'm saying five better. time, two time steel champ. He owns the steals record. That means he was a defensive player. No, that means plus he, he stole owned, the ball in plus, that season more than the yes, other guys. Yes. That doesn't mean he's a better defensive player. No, no, no. The five. It means I stole the ball. No, no, no. The five more time, times this season no, 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 than no, other the guys. The five time all defense makes him a better defensive player. No, it doesn't. If I made it five times and you made it zero, brothers. You, you're not it means that you got voted. You're, and, you, and you have a defensive team, which means your points, your, no, your defensive rating five? should be either. Yeah, that, my top five again. And then I don't know how Curry, I don't know how Curry will be in the conversation over Magic Johnson. I mean, why not? That is embarrassing. I mean, I, I, mean, I changed the game. That's embarrassing the game. now. Everybody in, everybody in that top five run their house. I thought no, we were talking about throw. point guards that now. run the team, not so. a bunch of stats, chasing stats, stuffing ass. Oh, we put him here because he got more of this. More. I thought there, we was talking no, about there's point no, guards. There's no stats. Oh, we talking about point no guards. Stat Curry has over Magic Johnson. Not one stat. Change the game. 
Not one stat. I changed the game. That's a stat. I changed There's the not a stat that Curry has I changed that would be over Magic Johnson. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, three, 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 oh, three point That's not a stat. Yes, it is a stat. I'm the greatest three point shooter ever. There, that's what a, are we talking about? That, go, go to, go to, go to that's the what, He said Show three me. point makes or not. No, 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 back. No, go, go, go to the, uh, what's the name? Let's see if that's Mr. part of Mr. Shoot three pointers said that three pointers are not a stat. Accomplish. Oh, 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 Calm down. Calm down. Go to accomplishments. Let's see if three, if threes are part of a stat. An oh, accomplishment. Three Let's point, see if three point con is three the, point champ. No, there's no three point champ. It is three a three point, point no. all time. A, like, no. you know the thing. No, that Ray Allen and Reggie time, Miller were waiting not, for that's Steph. That's not to, a thing. Two time NBA scoring champ, but that's scoring champ. Yes, he has scoring champ. Not no three point champ. Uh, uh, he's a three five time a day. You say Magic, three point is not Magic. a stat, Gil. Accomplishment. You said you don't get motherfucking leading the league. You don't get an accomplishment for leading the league in threes. He said Isaiah Thomas was overrated. He's you don't get it for leading the league. Done. Compared said, to what you're saying, to, Chris to Paul? be three, no. he said to John Stockton. No, he said to Chris Paul. Both of them, no. nine times nine. overrated. You, are y'all not listening to what y'all saying? Man. Y'all look. He has the best defensive team that people put together, but the player himself didn't make one. He didn't have to. If they got the I got Dennis Robin. I got. <laughs> they got the best defensive team. Get why he the fuck make, do he need to be the best defensive right. player? Doesn't it start with your point guard picking up? No, no, it doesn't, no, 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 it doesn't. It starts with Bill Lambert. It doesn't. And them niggas in the backcourt <laughs> all the motherfuckers every it. time. Because go to state defense start dark. with who? Dennis go to state. Rodman. Go to state defense start with who? The point guard. That's no, the guy Draymond. Who the ball Draymond Green. Draymond Green. Who picks the ball up? Draymond, Draymond Green. Who stops the Draymond ball? Draymond Green, right? Draymond. The defense starts with, right? Yes. Austin defense started who with who? The ball? Marcus Smart. No, 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 just no, no, you no. Up. KG. Dom, Dom. KG. Oh, you talking about then? I'm talking Rondo. about now. I'm talking about this, this Boston, but Rondo. KG. The KG. point KG. guard. The Nigga, point KG. KG was the defensive KG. Anchor. KG was the anchor. KG. Anchor. Was the no, anchor. KG. Anchor. Come on. You said it. Got you. Anchor. Got you. That means that means Zeke. Ben Wallace. You go be you. Anchor. You go be you. I got you. I got you. Do y'all hear what y'all saying? I got you. Ben Wallace and Rasheed too. Y'all go do y'all thing. We got you. I got you. I got you. Don't worry about it. You don't gotta play no D. Hey, that's what it. Don't worry about it. When they said to the rip, rip. You don't Chill. have to play relax. Yeah. You don't have to win the NBA Defensive Player of the Year. You proved we my point. You. Zeke, you don't have to win it. Zeke, yeah. we're the best defender. Go score. I, I you appreciate score We like good. You. I appreciate you. Score you just like said it. We good. You just said it. But everything else makes you a great point guard because we don't need overrated. you to do these you things. You just said it then. He said overrated. The yeah, anchor. I'm going to give you these. The anchor. Because when you go, you're going to need the these. The anchor, they, 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 right? You said the anchor. Just to give something. Zeke, you don't have to play defense because we will do. You get blown past because your garbage at defense will help you out. These guards are not getting beat past. They're not getting past. John Stockton. They're not getting past John Stockton. He's right locking now. you up. He's here. What's okay. happening? John Stockton. What's happening? John Stockton. Is What's happening? Zeke up. I don't have to. Call. John Stockton call. is locking relax. Zeke up. Re- relax, Carl. I John got this. Stockton is locking hey. Zeke hey. up. Hey, Carl. Hey. Do you, are hey. you standing on that? What are you doing? You're sweating. What are you doing? Zeke. You're sweating. Zeke. Hey, I got Zeke. Where are you going? Where are you going? John Stockton getting past him like, help, 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 Bill. Somebody get this man a towel. Help, Bill. Somebody get this man a towel. Help, Bill. Get him napkins or something. Bill, help. Bill, help. That's all Zeke doing. Help, Bill, help. They blew past me again. Like, come on. Everybody's an all defensive player but him. Let it be no, Gil. All right, listen. Wipe you down. Listen. Uh, right? <laughs> Come on. I I think, hey, he is sweating on everybody's an all just, everybody made the all defensive team. I'm off the overrated the point. Guard, Detroit. We and he's are picking calling the ball all up. goons. He's Detroit. picking the Where ball you up, which tells you they're blowing past this man. All goons. Calico. One, Where are you at? Du- this nigga Dumar. tripping on the How much Dumar? How many, how many all defensive teams Dumar's That's made? what he did. That was a specialist. Gary That's what I do. Gary Payton. Dennis Rodman and Joe Dumar. I got it. Did what? I got it. Like Zeke, this. you know what you're going to do it. for us. Zeke, we know what you're going to do for us. I got Zeke, it. the main nigga taking off on people. Come on, man. Stealing on everybody. We Chris Paul take off on somebody. He got t- oh, I got a like different kind of defense. I got a different kind of defense. I got a different kind of defense. Rondo two-piece him. It is. It's all It's all It starts from right here. It starts from the point guard. Yes. Nigga, knock you. What's up? It says a lot when you knock a nigga that's What's up? Obviously, he wasn't doing that. What's up? Obviously, he wasn't doing that. What's up, nigga? He was like, help. Hey, I'm, I'm going to John Stockton today. Help. Bro. I got magic. You no, said help. overrated. No. To be three. Yeah, he said overrated. To be three. That's overation. To be three. Overation. Top ten, yes. Three. Over them. Oscar Robertson, come on! What are we talking about? I think Oscar Robertson got some defense too. Okay, maybe he don't. 
What about Bob Cousy? No, I'm just well, fucking with you. Listen. Get the fuck out. That's day one! That's day one! Let's go back Every to the kitchen. Every time we start talking about the point guard. Obviously, we already know I got the best, I got the best five. Yo, what the chat say? Be- let's, go, let's go to... Uh, chat, who got the best? Let, the let's go back say? to McCann's. Let, let, let me see. I, I know Man. I bust. There we go. Look. Ah, solid. He got so Jay Kidd one. I know. So if Jay Kidd won. <laughs> so I mean, solid. I mean, and <laughs> so solid. Yeah, triple, right. triple double guy, no. point guard, nigga. We ain't Torbenate. talking about no Torbenate. stats. Torbenate. Torbenate. We ain't talking about no stats. Six time all NBA. Who you won't run in your team? Man. No, no, that's a different conversation, though. No, it's no, not. It's not. Yeah, that it is. It's guard. the same conversation. No because, no, because if we're picking a point guard to run our team, th- okay, who you picking? Not all of them. To run your team, if you got the first one pick. One pick? Yep, to pick. Any of them to run to your run team. your team, Gil. Don't go off the championship. Just, just no, to run just, my team. Watch this. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> to run my team. He's trying to be petty. Oh, then I'm going Magic. My, I'm going Magic. Okay, I'm rolling. After that, okay. J, after that, J Kid. After that, probably J Kid. Like me, like that's what I said. It's it's a difficult thing. Look, look. It's a, when it comes to point guards, right? And we're talking about the IQs of it then we're all saying the same thing, right? When we're talking about the IQ, passing, the ability to get everyone open. Yes, right? But when you start throwing stats in here, it kind of changes, changes the shit. I don't have everything. to do the, all the stats because we're winning. My team is good. We I don't, don't have need to do stats. all that. We don't like, need just, none of that. First of all, he holds the ball 24 seconds. Who? Chris Wall. What are you controlling? I got a sorry team. I got that's why we can't I got, win. I got, I got, get hey, off of hey, it. Get off of hey, it. Hey, I got, I, I, but that's get, the system. I got, no, no, that's you. I got get star, off I got star players. No, that's you. Same. you. I don't get, got Carmelo. Get off the, the fucking ball. I don't, got Carmelo. I don't got Carmelo. I don't got Carmelo with me. coming in two weeks. Get off the fucking rock. To who? James Harden. Pass that shit to James or somebody. I got I got Whoever you played with. But like even like somebody like Russell and them, right? There's no passes that they made. That that makes you be like, oh, them motherfuckers got the vision that we need. No. How do you know? Versus Nash, versus Nash and J Kid. J Kid and them, right? So, like, if I'm gonna have somebody like really that can get that kind of magic, that's what I'm things. saying. That's John Stockton. Like, yeah. even like if you tell me, like, yeah, John Stockton. That's what I'm saying. But I'm putting so, Zeke up there for the for the fierce, it's the, fierce for the, the competitiveness, okay. the never back down. He can hit the open jumper. He can get his team involved. He played defense. He's scrappy. Let it That's be known. all no, of this no, shit. No, 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 no. He's Let not scrappy. No. He's not scrappy. He is scrappy. He didn't make the whole defensive team. That does not mean he's not scrappy. I know who's scrappy though. There's that a white boy. You know what? Hey, <laughs> that white boy made it five times listen, over Zeke. Listen, Zeke is scrappy because <laughs> he's scrapped. That white boy was like Zeke. Zeke, Zeke scrap. Watch out, Zeke. I got this defense. Zeke scrap. Huh? Zeke scrap, nigga. He's well, he scrap because stop. he scrapped. He, he actually white go out boy, there and scrap. White boy stopped him. Who run the league? What? Who? Who's the color in the league? Who? Who run? Who run the league? Black. Huh? Black. Okay. <laughs> black. He's black. gonna go black. Go. As soon as they integrated. As we doing. As soon as they integrated. As we doing. David Stern. David Stern. Huh? Okay. John Stott and David nah. Stern. They have dinner together. St- oh, he owns the steel record and deep like all time like the, defense. Like how do we measure this with the guards? We asked Zeke, what do you think? What did you think when John Stockton lined up against you? He let bust it be my known. Ass. Let it no, let it be known. We need to hear from Zeke. He gonna watch. He locked me up. He Zeke, locked me up. Zeke, when you got John, just how we asked Gilbert. Gilbert, when a white boy get up against you, what you gonna say? Hunt it. But hunt it. But the stats hunt it. But the stats say otherwise. Hunt it. Hunt it. That's what you say. John, you John said, and I asked you a question. You're tough. You John's get yeah. white guy guarding you, Gil. What is it? It's a hundred. But again, I mean, automatically. This is not. A, so the, the numbers. This is not of our opinion. The numbers say like you are, have a defensive team. It starts with the point guard to stop the ball from penetrating. So you pulled He's, up the numbers between Zeke and Stockton. I got every. I got Zeke everybody. and Stockton. I got so everybody. So between the two, in every single battle they had, you're saying that Stockton upped him and didn't. Hey, is you that what you're telling me? You hey, can't tell hey, me that. Hey, There's defense. Hey, hold on. Hey, so I know you're going by numbers, but yo, you think uh, you think Chris Paul's a better point guard than Rondo? <laughs> what, what are we looking at? What we what we what we what we what we gauging? See that we, we now you thinking about the passing and all that stuff. I'm thinking See, about just, everything. And you don't like Chris Paul, so you can't be biased. I'm not being biased. You are. No, 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 no. You do not I like do, Chris. I do think Chris Paul's a, a good player, but I don't think he's that top tier when we're talking about See, top getting, five. Like top five, I don't think he. He has the best turnover ratio, assistance. Yeah, turnover bro, you ratio. Gotta, okay, that's fine. You okay. just gotta say who you putting over him. 
No, I'm just asking. Six time steals champ. Uh, that's fine. Five time assist that's champ. Fine. I, nine time all defensive player. That's fine. Like, I mean, all that's defensive team. It's like, we're talking of, about. We're talking of, about both sides of the field. No, it's a lot of dick riding of the NBA. No. Uh, that's what I say with the Zeke shit, man. Right with the Stockton Zeke shit. It's like, no. you can say it both I'm ways, like, right? Some, no. of them, some, some of them in there, like Derek. Let me stop. Detroit, right. Detroit has uh, turned their back on you again, Gil. See? Yeah, for sure. See? We need to get Zeke see? on the show. For you need sure. to rock see? Isaiah Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. When we're take at this, Summer take League, this fucking card away. When we're at Summer okay, League, okay. we need Isaiah take this Thomas. Card away. Okay, okay, so look, let's say, because there's a defensive category in here, right? And we're talking about guarding the, the, the point guards. He got to guard the Magic Johnson. And no, but you're we, using hold the on, defensive uh, metrics hold. as a fucking award system. You're saying Against if you didn't win the, the defensive team. Or you when it's make this the, close, there's, he has five things that you didn't do, but you have the, your team is known for this. But he has no control over who gets voted what, onto those teams. What I'm so you can't control that. You do your job. No. It don't mean that because I can do my job and still not get picked. How? What do you how mean? Far? How? Been, By being snubbed. How, it's called how, being how snubbed times, on the list. How many times did um, um, Chauncey Billups make the All Defensive Team? Let me let me calculate. I that. guarantee you, he ha- it's a like if you're keeping everybody from doing their job, then you are a front runner. You have an advantage. What if you get you snubbed? Have an you get snubbed. That means how I is he getting it? snubbed every year? Two yes, time All bro. Defense. Chauncey. Two time All Defense. Chauncey Whoa. Phillips, and he got the goons in the back. Now, how does this man have the fucking whole goon squad? Your team is known for locking pe- the bad boy. They didn't was, like hey, him. Was a good they defender? didn't like it. Was they didn't Chauncey like a good defense. You know what this tells me? Was Chauncey a good defense? This, this tells me. I'm sorry, Detroit. I'm a Detroit Pistons fan, but this is what tells me. You have a your whole team. You got Rodman. You got. Rick Malone, Rock, Rick Malone, you got Rick Mahorn. You have Rick Mahorn. Rick 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 you got a goon squad. That means everybody on your team, all defense, but your point guard. What does that say? Nothing. That means doesn't I got nothing. Nigga on the Why league do I have like to have a the point guard like that's all NBA defense, bro? The league don't like me. Bro. The league don't like me. Why, Why do I have to? That's what your team is known for. No, the team. Your team is known for that. But my point guard is that's not. That's why I call the my... Splash Brothers, but you can't splash. No, it's not. You can't splash. No, it's not, Gilbert. We're Splash Brothers without a splash. It's only two Splash Brothers <laughs> on the team. It's only <laughs> two. No, There's, not just, five, just, There's not five. There's not five Splash Brothers. There's only no, we're, two. We're saying if our There's team only is Two, I said not five. Team. I said if our team so we got black. four defensive said, players, and one called, of them is not. It's our point guard. They're called the bad boys, but one is not bad. Okay, the Splash Brothers. The, the only okay, point is punching niggas out. The, the only bad. motherfucker that's fighting is the only okay. nigga that's bad. The, the old bad. We, oh, we are called the bad boy. The, the bad boy. We didn't say we got four bad boys. Our, we're all of us. John, Sally, the whole team. Isaiah Thomas didn't make the dream team because he was the one that he told the bad boys, don't shake their fucking hand because I'm the baddest motherfucker out here. And I said, fuck them niggas. Okay, so he. Fuck them. In 92. Foul Michael Jordan. Every time he comes to the lane, foul his ass. Fuck him. Fuck him. He said, I got Michael Jordan. Ready? Go, foul <laughs> And exactly what Chauncey and Rip was doing. That's exactly what Chauncey and Rip was doing. Go, 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 go. But he got two NBA all defensive Chauncey because he was saying go? He was defending. No, he wasn't. You got a defender. He ain't no goddamn defender. He's defending Derek Fisher. He ain't no goddamn defender. Defending the do that. Some weak ass niggas. They couldn't, they couldn't guard Mark Jackson, who's doing this right here, though. He's doing this. Right. Soon as he get the ball, Mark Jackson get the ball like this. Uh, and then go do this the whole. Mark you Jackson, can't guard Mark Jackson that. coming down, Simi. No. <laughs> hey, uh, young Mark. Hey, young Mark was a problem. I got young Mark. That's young Mark was a problem. Okay, how about moderator? Man, I'm, not, I'm more than a moderator, girl. I'm a oh, you got to start moderator. saying some shit. I'm more than a moderator. Start stepping in. I let y'all cook. Start stepping I in. You, you yeah, this cook. nigga is, is, this that, is, is throwing that, shit that in there. didn't know. What? That Zeke was not an all-defensive player. I'm going to pretend like I did, Gil, because I got to be all-knowing in this role and position. I would have thought that Zeke would have more, more all-defensive team selections, but... Let it be known. I will also defer to Zeke. Could have been some hating going on. Niggas was not really rocking with him for some reason. In the 80s. Yes. Late yeah. 80s. In the fucking 60s. In the 2000s. In the 90s. Whatever Who? year. They still not fucking with Zeke. Right now. Okay, but we're talking about from 879 all the way up before they start hating you. Where was the defense? Oh, my Lord. 
So now he need defense. Ooh. I'm just saying. So John Stockton, you ain't asking the same questions for John. When everything, no, John, where was no, the defense? No, he said. No, he said Isaiah Thomas overrated. was overrated. To, to be three, he said overration. No, to, to be, be top. Fair, he, he, oh, he's not even in your top five. He's not even in your top five. He was overrated. He said overration. Isaiah Thomas. So he's overrated to you. He's not even in your top five. To be a top five, he's my in my top ten. He's not in the top five, like he just said. Like he's what I got uh, after 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 what after my five. That's after five. I got what. Uh, He's not going to use got, the same criteria. I got, Jay, I got Jay King and him. He's, so, he's like seven. He's not using the yeah, same he criteria he's like against seven? the rest of those guys. Because if win. he did, a lot of those guys wouldn't still be in the no, top Isaiah five. Thomas, man. If you use the same criteria for Isaiah with the rest of those guys, they're not going to stay in these spots. We need Zeke on the, the show. Oh, for sure. Oh, no, I'm going to hit Zeke right now. I'm going to hit Zeke right now. They got better defenders. All the guys that you got in front of Isaiah, who imagine? that's Chicago All too. Isaiah Thomas, that's Chicago. He don't care. Of course, he, he played, of course ain't nobody gonna like him in the league. Yeah, he that's not, listen, that's not y'all trying to use it because I, I found a flaw. Yeah, I just found what? a flaw. I, I found a flaw, and you got what? What flaw? what flaw? Ole, all, all he was NBA team. He's playing Gilbert Arenas. He's making all NBA defensive teams. All, all NBA it. only six times. That's the Yo, flaw. it's so crazy that they be trying to like down like downplay Zeke because of like like things that come. Magic up. never made an all like, defensive team, but he was two times steals times. leader. He said only six times. He only made only it. six times. Only the, only only not he not, he didn't all, make it at all. But twelve times only twelve time All Star, six time All NBA. That means he made it. Ten time All Star, eleven time All NBA. All NBA is more important. It's more important. 11 versus 6. 12 versus 6. So when I say only versus everyone else, he is the lowest on the all NBA team. But that's the you're the only one using that as a metric to gauge where we put these people. We are not using all NBA. I know you just we're just using we're what not we using, do. We're using skill sets. We're just what, using we're as just a using. point guard, what you do in the position. We're using all those metrics. We're not we're using how many awards you got. This ain't got a finals MVP, and he can't crack the top five. No. Damn. Mm -mm. Final. Damn. Final statement. What did, All what right, go ahead. Vote? What did the fans vote? Whose list was best? I know. Gil, yeah, it's, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt your feelings a little it bit. It better not. So, final He's tally. Look at, hey, final can we tally. zoom in on the sweat? Yeah. Final tally. Can we zoom in on the sweat spots? We're going to let these sweat. final votes get in. <laughs> We're gonna let zoom the, in on this nigga sweat. The beads are sweat. We're going to let the final votes get in. I don't got a tank top on, so you get all air flowage. Man! <laughs> you got all air flowage. All right, so nearly a thousand voters in the chat. Oh, hold on, what happened to the shit? What happened? Come on now. Come on, be smart, chat. Oh, here we go. Be smart, chat. So I know I lost. First place. <laughs> I already know I the lost. The chat agreed. Uh, Brandon, 50%. <laughs> Gil, you got 40%. Rashad, as you know, I, I niggas the, are haters. I got the sweater on. 9%. Man, and the color shirt for a reason today. I wasn't fucking this around. Is Detroit? This is Detroit. Gil, they said you were no, you, you got to really make this one up. It's going to take more than Buff. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take more The big grass. You really got to make this up. Because it's not making no sense. It's not making no sense. I did the Overrated research. Isaiah Thomas we, overrated. We, we did not have Isaiah Thomas and Champagne to pop uh, to celebrate the end of the nine season of the show. Nine thousand assists. I mean, what, what are we talking about? Isaiah's going to sit across nine, the table. Nine, Why nine, we keep acting like the game wasn't different back then? He knows it. Like... Isaiah, oh, gonna, oh, oh, Isaiah no, no. gonna be soft spoken. He gonna be like, "Listen, my brother. Listen, my brother. You know, that's what I'm saying. The game give. was different. Back then. The game was different back then. But the player that's in front of him is in the same era. We need Zeke on like, the show. Like fifteen thousand points in that era. Oh, I mean, fifteen thousand assists. Talking about John. Fifteen thousand assists in that era where you had to catch and shoot. With you know, we'll Carl Malone, we'll be, be we're about, we're we'll Malone. Be about twenty-four thousand in today's game. So if Zeke had Carl Malone on his team, what are we saying? What are we saying? Like what are we saying? Like, if he, he had Carmelo, Dennis Rodman, Rick Mahorn, if he had Carl Malone, he would have to play defense by himself. Carl Malone, <laughs> Carl Malone, <laughs> all which he could do. We Carl Malone did what? Thirty-two thousand points. Thirty-two. Okay, 000. so fifteen thousand of that ain't a kid for me. Yes. Where do I have him? Where do I have him on my list? Five. John. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I got him at the bottom. He ain't up there with LeBron and him. You don't have John at all. Thank you. That's that's why you lost. Nobody's agreeing with that shit. <laughs> Nobody's agreeing with that shit. <laughs> Who? The fans. Everybody on my list. Talk about it, me. Nobody's agreeing with that. That That is I a can't. terrible list. Okay. It, hold on. Okay, so LeBron. Hell. Yeah. LeBron hold James. Oh, LeBron. I don't even got to use LeBron stats. We already know that. Okay, Magic. 19 and 11. So he averaged a double-double. 12-time All-Star. 12-time... 
12 times, five time NBA champ, three time MVP, three time finals MVP, 10 times all NBA, two time all NBA champ. Um, who on your list can beat that? Who's the okay. better no. point guard? Magic. The better point guard, Magic. Curry only has 5,000 assists. So, okay. right, so, he's so a, what makes you a better of, point guard is stats. Okay. On, so what makes you a better point guard on, is your stats, on, right? I, I, I guess. That's what I he's guess. saying. I'm trying I guess. to understand this. When you're talking about getting, passing the ball, what point guards do, Curry is the lowest out of probably the top 40. He only has 5,000 okay. assists. Can I ask you a question? I'm, a, I'm, I'm just a, saying. I'm a stuff, scoring it, point guard. But, because I'm, but he's a scoring point guard, so I'm using his metrics of what he did. But is That's why he's still three on mine. Is there such thing as a hockey assist? Think about Yes. Think, is there yes, a such yes, thing yes, as a hockey assist? Yes. Where yes. does the hockey assist come from? Hockey. The Here. point guard. Yep. Hockey. Boom, boom. Yep. Boom, boom. I don't get that assist. Actually, I don't get I, that I, assist. Actually, boom, boom. Actually, it comes from the, uh, the other person. The, the point guard wouldn't get the hockey assist. I just said that. I don't get the assist because no, I'm passing it in to pass I have it to him. Oh, I don't, I don't get the assist for setting up the whole team. Oh, so nobody else falls under that category either, huh? What do you mean? Assist? No, no that's why I said there's no metric for the position that you've been throwing stats in there. There's the no hockey. reason to throw stats because why? it doesn't cover the hockey assist. Okay, then everybody can then give everybody two. That's why you take it all away, Gil, and you, you make it about skills. How about just give everybody make it about skills. Give everybody two thousand hockey assists. No, let's just make let's mean? just make it about skills oh, and not stats. Let's just make it everybody two thousand hockey assists. Let's just make it about skills. Let's take the stats out. And take the stats out. What are we talking okay. about? All right. Take take the stat. So, so take Zeke all is stats better out. than John Stockton. And what? Being a point guard. What? How? Says who? If you're taking all the stats, what stats? Says you going get? to the championship and winning it you twice. Said, you said take the stats out. That's a stat. No, it's not. That's an accomplishment. Everything is an accomplishment. A stat is an accomplishment. If I'm a score <laughs> leader, that's an accomplishment. An assist leader is an accomplishment. So what are you talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, we can do this what all is day. A, what is an assist? It's, when you have the assist record, it's an accomplishment. This nigga says stat right? is an, an accomplishment. A stat is an accomplishment. A stat is an accomplishment. I didn't say a stat. Rewind. I didn't say one assist. Wait. I said the stills. He's the assist leader. That's an accomplishment. Oh, my gosh. So we're taking all of it out. Now what do we have? Skill. Who's the better one-on-one -on -one player? What the fuck are we doing now? Who is the better team leader? <laughs> uh, the, the. Skill set. Who sets the team up? <laughs> Who runs the team? Who's Who not, can win as a fucking Who's not point better guard? playing with Chris Paul? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Mm. Hold on. So you're saying who runs their team better? The, the nigga who owns the record for assists. No, that's the nigga that got the most what, what assists, we, Gil. What, what we, that's not the nigga that ran the what, team what, the what, best. Because he didn't win a championship. He didn't win a championship running his team. What? Isaiah Thomas won two championships running, running his, team. his team. Running his what, what, team. What was he doing when he's running his team? Playing point guard. Here, get down here. Come here. <laughs> Come, up here, Come over here. What? Go this running. way. Go this way. Let me hit this Screen spot. left. Screen left. Screen I'm left. I'm going off the one foot. My shit is broke. Switch. Switch. Hey, man. Come on, Switch. Man. I got him. Right, go ahead. 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 Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I still don't get it because he's still got go to ahead. finish his career and his career says What's next? It seems like we could keep this conversation going. When we head to Las Vegas for Summer League, make sure y'all tap in with us. We're going to be out there first week of Summer League or after that first you weekend. Got more assistant than big <laughs> But now it's time for our final mostly fans of this season he before we start got, he, next he season. He barely got more assist than Harden. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number one comes from uh, Aaron Talentino. When Kobe gets a statue, would you let them put you on as a defender on it? Like Kobe getting shot already over it? He does? Did it did it get unveiled? I'm, I'm smoking, you know, I'm, I'm I just host. predid it. I predid it. Y'all right. Oh. I predid it. <laughs> I, predid that. I just figured he already had two statues. You said Kobe already got a statue. But would you be the defender on it getting cooked? Hell yeah. You'll take pride in that? Fuck yeah. Jalen got that. Dunk on me, he can do whatever the fuck he wants to do. That's forever. That's what? forever. That's forever. They're going to be like, who's this? That's Gilbert Arenas. And, and then they're going to And then say, when they Google it, they're going to be like, damn. Oh, shit, so he has 60. I'm about to say, yeah, he has 60. I'm about to say, they're going to be like, yo, he has 60. <laughs> he has 60 that game. I like that. So question number two. Uh, oh, no, they, our own chat wants to know, what if it was you crossed over grabbing your ankle? You still take it? Like that? Yes, it's okay. forever. All right, question it's number 60. two. From one take, Robbie, 60. what guests can we anticipate to come on the show in the future? I think we need Isaiah Thomas. Let it be known. 
You and Z got a square off Gil. What is that square off? Well, you gonna beat me in st stats? <laughs> You're gonna beat the stats? You can't beat Gil, the stats. brother, brother, <laughs> brother. Because now, now, brother. now what I'm gonna do. Brother, you said I was overrated, brother. No, for three. Not overrated as a player for three. Good, good, No, he's not even in your top five. You like, was like, so, like, 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 so like, so he's not even Gil, in your top five. What I'm saying is, like, if I put, if I put Kyrie one, mm -hmm. everybody's gonna say, oh, he's overrated to be number one. Why would anyone say such a thing? That he's overrated to be the number one point guard of ever? all time. Yeah, why would anyone object to that? What's the objection? Okay. Tell me what well, the objection right. is for. Everything. What? Have no stats? stats? He has nothing. Stats. But when we talk about looking at Kyrie's body of work and his skill set, we say, who's better than that guy? At the point or scoring? At the point. About? At the point guard position. Who's better than this guy? Bro, we can say we can say because he's a scorer, right? No, so because you're gonna, gonna bring in stats to say anything otherwise. What is he a scorer? The what look you, test. Score, the, oh, I, oh, I didn't know the basketball game was about look test. It is. It's what we're watching. We're watching basketball. So, so, what, so but you're so, not saying Zeke is not top five. Wait, no, he is. He, he's, he's, not in his, he's not in his top five. He's not in his top five. He's not, not in his top five. Gil, let it be known. Y'all, when y'all let it be known. Y'all we're resting. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. I had four guarantees that everybody else was popping. You had a whole piece of paper right there. You was playing spades with you the You did that for the last two nights. What you talking about? I had Gary Payton. I would do everybody. We didn't rush you then. I was Gary Payton, Nash, Tim Hardaway, Pistol P. I did everybody. You had plenty of And I had four guarantees. In the, I even put Iverson in there because Iverson was considered a point guard eight times in his career. James Harden was only considered a point guard twice. Well, them two so years I was hoping you put him in there. I did. I, no, he's in my top ten. He's in your top ten. We're going to expand it out the top ten when we go to Vegas. Hell no. That's Gil. That's what I'm going to lose. We need content. That's right, what you're going to lose. Okay. That's right. We know my shit. Appreciate, appreciate your honesty. My that. shit is. Because his shit becomes good because he gets to put magic in the shit. No, I got some other shit in there. That's oh, hell no. Nah, don't. Hey, so you said people that we want to bring on here? I'm trying to get Steph Curry. We're going to try to get Steph. Jordan Clarkson. Come Let's on do here, it. Like uh, around the summertime. Meta. Meta help us help y'all. Y'all going everybody else's shit. Y'all don't ever come on Gil's Arena. Help us help y'all. Hey, can we do our top five ever real quick? We don't have scared. to debate it. We shit. just they scared. Hey, we don't have to debate it. Just the top five ever. Top they're, five they're ever. Screaming, starting lineup. They're screaming hell no in the production. I'll do mine real quick. Yeah, okay, go ahead. We Gil. don't got to argue it. But you just already know chat. what's going to happen. Just for the chat. I got... Uh, I put mine in here. Okay. You want to go... I, you going to go yours first? Yeah. My starting five ever, Curry, Kobe, KD, Tim Duncan, Shaq. Okay, mine is Shaq, Jokic, KD, Jordan, and LeBron. Kobe. Nasty. Jordan. <clears throat> Kobe and Jordan. T-Mac. KG, Shaq. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We will debate the fuck yeah. out of that. In Before LeBron came in, I always used to do Kobe at the... Kobe and Jordan at the 2 3. Because they played in a triangle, so they were technically small floors. <laughs> so I, I, you know, I would feel that T Mac spot with Brown. I just feel like T Mac and, or, or KD, but. For that lineup. T Mac, yeah, T Mac fits. When LeBron comes on the show, we could discuss it. I'm all he six. I'm he all can convert six, you back six, over. But that's our. That's a wrap for the season. Pop? Yeah, he ready to go. He ready to go, man. Pop it. Pop it. I, go. I, I, I live right down the street. I can it's say Thursday. Hey, Thursday. You know how you be on Thursdays. What you got cracking? My daughter plays in Arizona. Okay. So hopefully they end up Detroit Pistons. Tucson? Uh, Tucson? Glendale. Glendale. No. Yeah. Okay. He said, hey, they're trying to give us mums. What's mums? We need yeah. Isaiah Thomas' award winning champagne on the show. Zeke, we appreciate you. Wait, send us a bottle for getting out. We need, you need him to send oh, it. Oh, I'm about to say this. Be with mums. a note that say, let it be known. <laughs> let it be known. Thank you, sir. It's been a Got great you. four months. Hope they bring you hey. back. Hey, you got to throw them stats out there. Let them know what them stats look like. Give me a little bit. I got to go coach some kids after this. Come on, guys. Like gentlemen. Four, Come on, guys. Like gentlemen. Four, Let's be like months. gentlemen. Let's be like gentlemen. This has been a great run. Hold on. Wait for Gil. It's been a great run. Hope to see you niggas soon. I hope we still get to keep our job. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. whoa. Yeah. We appreciate you, the Underdog Fantasy. Reminder, go ahead, download the app. Use promo code Gil's Arena. They'll match your whoa, first deposit up to $100. Appreciate you, Tim. Appreciate you, the entire crew that works on this show. Thank, thank the crew. Everybody on the crew. Thank everybody. Danny, Tim. What up, Danny and Tim? Everybody at Underdog. We appreciate y'all. Keep it back. All y'all. and Meek, all our guests. Yep. Thank you. Miko, Kenyon, the real writer, everybody. Jason Beverly Hills, everybody who pulled up to the show and everybody who's going to pull up to the show. 
Isaiah Thomas, you got a spot on the couch in Gills right. Arena. Y'all can come chop it up. Man, hit us up on Instagram. Hit, hit my Instagram up. up and my hands. Shout out to Sebastian getting our mics ready. I deactivated my hands, so don't hit me on Shout out to Bear. Shout out to Paolo. Paolo. <laughs> Shout out to Carlos. This, so you know, get it right snapping back up the beautiful photos of everybody. Becky. I was going to put my personal page in here. <laughs> Shout, <laughs> Shout out to Becky and them. Shout out to Becky and them. Thank my mama. Thank the God that we did all these numbers. Shout out to Trev. Shout out to everybody on the crew. Shout out to We'll be Detroit. back in July in Las Vegas, turning up. See if we don't get arrested. See if we can keep the show going. If we gonna get canceled. But this is Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Woo! Woo! Shout out. We'll see y'all soon. Let's go. I'm Detroit. Here is that. Greatness, the chosen a few that carry the gift of genius. Who do what they do? Who possess finesse the blessed with desire?